Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. And welcome on back to Randomized Perfection. Hope everyone's been doing well. Hey, Koji, how you doing? Zipporah, you got class? Well, I'm glad you're able to stop in briefly before class. Hope it goes well for you. Massive storm preventing you from sleeping allows you to actually catch the beginning of a stream for once. For once, welcome on in, Fever Pitch. Hopefully you get to some some well-deserved sleep at some point here. Hopefully the storm's not too, too bad. Chat, I'm going to tell you, today has not been my day. <laughs> it's still early, and but it's been off to not a great start. I, I'm going to tell you that right now. It's not nothing like actually terrible, but like here's here's how it went. Okay, I wake up and I uh, I'm I'm very hungry, right? But I want to, I want to have breakfast. But before I have breakfast, I wanted to like take care of some stuff. So I go and I turn on my computer. I wanted to like try and set up like go into like my settings of my stream to set things up and play around with things to see if I could uh, make sure that what happened yesterday with the whole roller coaster of chat would not happen again today. So I go and try to set up a stream and it's not working at all. Like I usually, there's like a thing where you can like schedule a stream and it opens up like a little window. I open that up and try to use like reuse settings from previous stream. Nothing was working. I got to like the first page. I was trying to input information and nothing, it would not work. And I was like, okay, this is not great. So then I'm like, well, maybe it, it's, it seemed like it was a YouTube issue, but I'm like, maybe it's on my end. Maybe it's my computer. I restart my computer. When the computer boots up again, I get this very scary looking error message on my like my BIOS window when it opens up that's like, your fan, your computer fan, we detected a significant error with your computer fan, please advise. And there's a bunch of like technical jargon that I'm not privy to. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening, man. I just pressed F1 like they told me to and I kept on going. I went I went through the steps and figured that out. Um, loaded it up. The whole stream thing's still not working, so I just like give up on that. Um, because by this point, I wanted to have breakfast. I wanted to make breakfast because I had a therapy appointment later that morning, or later later this morning. Like I got back from it a little while ago, so I had to go out to that. But I didn't have time to make breakfast now, so I'm like, I'll just pick up something at like Tim Hortons on the way because I still had time. So I had, so I left a little bit early to go out to Tim Hortons to get some food. I'm, I start driving immediately. Traffic backed up further than I've ever seen it in my entire life. It is so far backed up. Normally, what takes me like normally it would take me maybe ten minutes, ten minutes to drive from where I where I live to where my like therapy appointment would be. Today, forty five minutes because purely because of traffic. I, I left early to try and get some food. Didn't have a chance to do that, so I show up in my therapy and I'm, I, I talk all this through with the <laughs> with, with my therapist there. It was it was just not a great start to the day. It was real rough. But I'm here now. I'm I've made I've, I've gone through my therapy session, so that definitely helped things, and I am in a much better frame of mind now. I had my breakfast. I had my I'm I'm well set for another day of fun streaming shenanigans. It's only going up from here. I'll tell you that. But I just had to get that out of my system because it was one of those days, you know, where the universe seems to just be telling you maybe you should have stayed in bed this time. Maybe you should have stayed in bed. But here I am anyway. Either way, super excited to be here. Hopefully, everyone else's day is going uh, is going better than that. <laughs> like I said, nothing actually like like terrible, terrible. It's just a lot of like things that like piled up, and I did I did as you can tell, obviously, eventually get the stream schedule thing to work. So, so that was okay. Once I got back from my appointment, it it worked out fine. But I did get to eat. Yeah, yeah, I managed to get some uh, some breakfast in there. Thankfully. Also, um, as per as to the roller coaster glitch thing that was happening in chat yesterday, um, there was some uh, some feedback I got that told me it was probably to do with something called reactions that I didn't even know were a thing you could do, where people can like click a little button to react to the stream. I think it's only on iOS right now because I've never seen it like on my own desktop. But when I was on my phone, I did actually notice a button for it, and my phone is iOS. Um, and I think people reacting or po clicking the little button was causing some kind of glitch in the matrix there. So I've I've disabled reactions for the time being, and we'll see if that helps at all. <laughs> we'll 
We'll see if we'll see if that makes any kind of a difference. I'm sorry to anyone who was using those reactions, and if you were and it, and it caused that issue, don't worry. I'm not going to blame you. <laughs> it's just uh, I, I didn't realize it was even happening. But you're on Android and had reactions too. Clicked it on yesterday on your new phone to see what it did. Who could have known? Who could have known that it would cause such mayhem? I don't even know for a fact that that was it. It was just there were definitely some uh, correlative effects. Like apparently when people are clicking reactions, some, someone told me like, hey, I clicked it and then like a, like a couple seconds later, chat went absolutely insane. So uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> so I've disabled reactions for the time being. I think it'll probably be for, for the health of the stream. If it doesn't work, like if we end up having that glitch again today, then we'll know it's something else, but at least it's worth uh, experimenting with that variable, you know? Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker, looking like a diamond in the rough. I appreciate the support as always. Thank you so much. Have I played Tears of the Kingdom? I've played a little bit more Tears of the Kingdom. For those keeping up on, on that story arc, I, like I said, I was lost in the depths for a very long time. Because I refuse to fast travel. I'm, I'm trying to avoid fast traveling wherever possible. And uh, the other day I played Tears of the Kingdom for maybe another hour, hour and a half. Still just scouring the depths, looking for a way out. Finally figured out a way out. And I don't think it was the way that they intended. I didn't find... Because apparently there are places where you can like use the Ascend ability to like get it through the ceiling of the depths or something like that. I didn't find any of those. I found like a... I found like a balloon some kind of weird balloon contraption and I used auto build to like save it. I took it back to a place where there's like a gap that goes up through the depths that you can't normally like go up through because it's so tall and so far away. You can't possibly climb it. And there's like gloom preventing you from climbing up the walls too. Cause you'll like die if you touch the gloom for too long. So I used the balloon to start going up that shaft and then halfway up the shaft or like even like a third of the way up the shaft, it starts like blinking like it's going to disappear and I'm like, oh, geez. So then I have to like go back down. I make two balloons. I go up in one balloon. I'm carrying the balloon up with me using my ultra hand ability and then like guiding the second one up. And as the first one's about to disappear, I do this like intense maneuver where I jump to the other balloon, light the fire underneath because it's like a hot air balloon. So you need the fire. So I, I light it in midair and catch a ride on the other balloon all the way up back to the surface. It was it was a wild ride. You had to be there. Unfortunately, no one was, but except for me. But either way, that's Tears of the Kingdom for me so far. <laughs> it was really good. I, sh I should have been recording it or something, but <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. All right. Either way. Tears of the Kingdom aside, let's load back into Fractured Farm and see what kind of magic we can make happen in this game. Hey there, Lisa. I set a good example for YouTube, other YouTubers everywhere for promptness. <laughs> I like to show up a little bit early because I know I do like to ramble at the start of the stream, and I don't want and I, I want to give people time to like file in without worrying about that they're gonna like miss out on any gameplay potentially. So, but that said, it is time to get into that gameplay. We're still looking to cook a complete breakfast! Exclamation point goal. Let me get that set up. Let me let's get the pin in here. We only need one thing to cook this complete breakfast now. That is a hash brown. A plate of hash browns either from Gus or from Krobus. They both have the potential to sell it. Gus can sell it any day. Krobus can only sell it on Saturdays. That's the last ingredient we need. We have everything else. We just, uh, we're just waiting on that at this point. Okay. But we do have a few other issues to tend to. What did I miss? It depends on when you were last here, Gray. <laughs> it depends on when you were last here. Um, Last time I was here, we were one year away from the Junimos. Well, we did our Junimos. We did the Blue Discus. We also caught a Red Mullet as our, as our fourth goal, and now we're on goal number five, which is to cook a complete breakfast. Unfortunately, we're a hash brown short. We have that milk. It's just not here right now. Either way, um, so we've been calling Gus every single day. We call up Gus, ask uh, if his refrigerator's running, because he better go catch it, of course, as, as you do. He's got a blueberry tart today. Decidedly not a hash brown, so we just carry on with our lives. That said, this is the first rainy day in a very long time, which is nice because it'll water the ancient fruit that we got going down here, but it's also nice because I remember this is something I wanted to do last stream. Um... There's been a lot of debris accumulating as a result of the animals eating all the grass outside. 
So, sorry animals, you're gonna stay inside for a little while while we, while the debris hopefully gets tended to a little bit and doesn't doesn't get so bad. So I'll close the animals in for right now. They'll just subsist off the hay for a little while and then we'll plant some more grass starters down here maybe to help stymie the debris. I don't know if I have any more grass starters on hand. I think I did, I did stock up on a decent supply the other day. So maybe I have some ready to go, but I don't know for certain. Also might be a good idea to, to actually try successfully to farm some hardwood down here today. Glad I finally have good random luck. I mean, you missed yesterday where I was searching for four hours to find the hash browns and literally <laughs> just never did. But uh, it's, it's, as far as the randomizer luck goes, as far as like the goals, yeah, it's not so bad. It's working out okay. Waiting for Gus to serve up those hash browns, baby. Just managed to finish yesterday's video during work. Welcome on in, casual gamer. Good to see. Um, Yeah, I do want to try and bomb some of this hardwood again. I remember what kind of, like, deflated my spirits. It was like the, it was like the straw that broke the camel's back, is when I was pre-chopping the hardwood. And I believe it was this tree right next to the stump, right next to the stone owl here, that I, it, I accidentally knocked it over and gained, like, 12 foraging experience. So that was just uh, unfortunate. But now we know that that one is, like, most of the way pre-chopped. So we know to avoid that one for right now. Either way, I'm going to go get those uh, grass starters so we can get sort of that situation going here. One question I do want to ask you guys, though, is what should we do with our hardwood? Because in my mind, there are two ways we can go about it right now. All right. We can either build a stable and get ourselves a horse to get around a little bit faster, or we can build our house upgrade, which is necessary for the future of the challenge. We will eventually need to do that. But the the, sta the stable would be a nice quality of life upgrade that is not technically required. The house would be uh, investing in the future of the challenge for when we get the inevitable craft a cask goal. Horse, exclamation point horse. <laughs> horse or house, the eternal debate horse could always come later. Yeah, but like, we don't know when we're going to need the house necessarily. It could be our next goal. It could be a ways down. So it's it's really just a, a roll of the dice. Why not pull? This seems like a highly pullable situation. You are absolutely correct. How should we use our hardwood? This is assuming, I don't know how much hardwood we're actually going to get. Um, stable, which is horse or house upgrade. Make your opinions known now. In my mind, these are the only two things we can do with the hardwood at the moment. <laughs> All right, let's plant some extra grass starters down here. Just to try and try and fight back against the debris as little bit that we can. Pretty even split so far, just right off the bat. I see 54% in favor of the stable for the horse. I don't want to say too much, because I, I have an opinion, but I'm not going to say it. Because I don't want to sway the, the voting too much. But if it comes down to it, I'll, I'll make a tie-breaking decision. Yeah, I'm not going to remove all the hardwood. Absolutely not. Like we're, it, More hardwood will regrow. It's just that it takes a long time. And for those not in the know, um, a stable requires 100 hardwood. A house upgrade requires 150. So I don't think we're going to have enough to do both, at least not right now. But we should have enough to do at least one. Worm bins? <laughs> we can't even craft a worm bin if I wanted to, though. Like, I have to get the goal to craft a worm bin, and I can't get the goal to craft a worm bin unless I level up in fishing, I'm pretty sure. Also, who crafts a worm bin? Isn't worm bin like notoriously the most like ineffective thing ever in the game? <laughs> it's like so expensive for for the value you get out of it. If you're doing a lot of fishing, then maybe, but like a lot of crab potting, I don't know. Have a good time at class there, Zapora. Take care. 
Will the horse be able to get through the debris? Certain sections of it, yeah. Like, if we, if we, like, let's see, let's see, like, the main path we're taking is, like, straight down here to water our, uh, crops most days. So if we, like, look at the layout, there are some rocks in the way here, but it's definitely not innavigable. Well, uh, assuming the horse can get through here, which, that's a bit of a tight squeeze, I guess. Either way, I think having the horse would be kind of nice. But having the house upgrade would be good for peace of mind, too, so... It is a basically a dead tie right now. House upgrade is, is taking the lead by a little bit. It's at 53%. But it's still basically 50-50 right now. Yeah, horse would be huge for quality of life, but is that the most important thing right now? Either way, um, I think we go to sleep now. Now that we've taken care of business there. Tomorrow we'll pre-chop the hardwood just to get it ready to go. And then, uh, and then we'll sleep, and then we'll bomb it. You know, the usual rigmarole for getting our hardwood. Your mind says house, your heart says horse. I think that's the perfect encapsulation of where we're at right now. Hey, Gus, you want to make it a nice early start to the stream here? You want, might, want to make things, want to just blow things wide open and give me some hash browns? All right, not quite, not quite yet. <laughs> we're going to have to butter them up just a little bit. Get them all buttery and greasy, just like those hash browns he is going to deliver today. Wrong tuber. <laughs> Come on, man. At least, you know, he's on the right track. He's got a tuber in there at all. He's got a tuber on the menu. That is uh, more than we've... More luck than we've seen, at least re in recent days. We, gotta, we just got to get him back on that breakfast grind now. Okay. Let me navigate over to the hardwood, the mahogany, little mahogany forest here. And clear out. We're also going to do a little bit of debris day today, probably. I can probably get these trees, too, now that I'm looking at it. Just, you know, might, might as well do a little bit of clearing. All right, so we're going to do some pre-chopping. I don't know which, uh, which, if any, of these trees are already pre-chopped. I'm pretty sure this one only took two chops, so we, we're gonna, I'm just gonna leave that one alone, to be honest with you. It'll get caught in the crossfire of the bombs and knocked down either way. It was, like, very close. Um, PJR, by the way, I'm so, lo I'm so laser focused on, uh, on what I'm doing right now. Didn't even hear the PJR in my own ears. I'm gonna pre-chop all of these trees, then we'll explode them with such ease. We'll get a hundred hardwood or more, and then we'll build a new front door to a stable or to our house. I haven't yet decided, Hat Mouse. Wait, Hat Mouse, when did you get here? That's the magic of improv, my dear. All right. Uh, we're going to pre-chop this tree right here. So we're going to go nine and then... So I think the only one I'm going to avoid is this one here. And we'll go like all these ones to the left-hand side. We'll leave maybe these four alone. And everything else I think we'll we'll touch on. That was precious. Thank you. I, I, I felt pretty good about that one. I was feeling the flow of the... The magical flow of the song. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shoot, did I get this one? I don't know if I got that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I went a little cross-eyed for a second. I'm not sure if I hit this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Counting with Argon, everyone's favorite recurring stream segment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll mix this next one up a little bit. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 
24, 27. <laughs> Ow, my brain. <laughs> yeah, it was not the sm not my smartest decision. All right, I think that's everything pre-chopped. I'm not gonna not gonna tempt fate with that other tree that I'm not sure if I pre-chopped or not. We'll just do some extra bombing if we need to. Um, but yeah, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and clear a little bit more debris. Actually, you know what? I didn't pre-chop these uh, pine trees over here. I didn't pre-chop the pine trees like I wanted to. So let's go ahead and take care of business there. It's these ones right here. Because I'm pretty... I can definitely get rid of these, yeah. There's no no rocks immediately nearby. In fact, I could probably get rid of these, too. Let me just check if it's there. Yeah, there's no rocks in the near vicinity. So I think these four trees we should be able to take care of. While I'm in the, in the mood here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The gay comets, the true lore. <laughs> the true lore of the meteorite love story. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Anyone else feeling a little tense right now? A little anxious as we get as we get close to the end of these trees? That one of them might actually be pre-chopped? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. We safely made it through the pre-chopping phase. We'll lock that in and we will uh, we'll do some explodifying tomorrow. Some explosive lumberjacking. I also want to buy some more hay at Marnie's at some point. She's closed on Monday. Um, she's not there on Tuesday either because she's at aerobics. But on Wednesday, we can make a little pilgrimage down there and pick us more hay to fill up the silos and stuff. Try and stay ahead of that. We could do a little pre-chopping here on these trees, but let's not get too greedy. I don't want to, you know, test my luck too much here. <laughs> I'm pretty confident these one these ones would be fine, but let's just let's just keep it to one little area at a time here, shall we? I didn't pre-chop the one I wasn't sure about. You went back and checked? Alright. Um, Sarah Soda Pop, I'm taking your word on this one that you're not trolling me. We're gonna go. We're, we're gonna go pre-chop it on your word. I have faith. I have the utmost confidence and trust. Because I remember. It's this tree, right? It's this tree. Sarah, can you confirm it's this tree I have not pre-chopped? I believe it's that it's either that one or this one. I I await with bait, with bated breath. You feel the hash browns coming? Me too. They're they're on the horizon. They're cresting. Their golden brown flaky selves are not far off. I'm seeing I'm seeing no no response. No response from Sarah. I'm not confident enough in my assertion that this is not that, that this is the one. I want to say it is. I want to say this is the one. Sleep to lock it in. You know what? We'll do that. We'll sleep to lock it in, just to be absolutely sure that we got all the ones that we already have, and then we'll we'll test that one tomorrow. And if it is pre-chopped, then uh, then it's an easy reset. If not, then we can pre-chop it so that it's uh, in line with the rest of them. Good call. Good call, Smiley. That is the right one? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be I'll be back down tomorrow to, to pre-chop it then. Alright. Let's lock that son of a gun in. Lock all those sons of guns in. How much hard do you, how, how, ugh, how much hardwood do you think we're gonna get from all that? I don't know how many trees we actually pre-chopped. I wasn't counting. I mean, I was counting, just not the trees themselves. You know, I was a little preoccupied with some other mathematics. But I'm excited to see how much hardwood we get out of that. It's got to be at least a hundred, right? Like if we get ten per tree on average, tortilla. Get ten per tree on average. We sh and I'm pretty sure we pre-chopped more than ten trees there. Or at least 10 trees. Oh, we gotta get the bombs. 
That's the whole crux of this. This is the this is the reason we do the pre-chopping. Can't just go over and, and knock them off with my axe now. Come on. How you doing, Pi? Hope you're having a good day. Wrong staple crop. You know, it's a new day. I'm I'm giving Gus more leeway. I'm not coming I'm not coming into this uh negotiation with an uh, with any animosity towards Gus from, from yesterday's shenanigans. It's water under the bridge as far as I'm concerned. And uh today's a new day, so let's just let's see how it goes. But first we're gonna start with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All pre-chopped, effectively, I believe. We gotta watch out for those two stones. But I think if I put down a cherry bomb right here, we should be safe. Yeah, yeah, that was a good hit. That was a very good hit. I didn't expect it to get that one over there, to be honest with you. Alright, now we can pre-chop this the stumps, just to make sure we don't accidentally mess with our numbers here. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. All right, if I put down a cherry bomb right here, is that where I put it last time or did I put it one closer? I'm gonna put it right there to be as safe as possible from those rocks. Okay, that worked out. We don't actually get any hardwood out of that, I realize, but I wanna clear the stumps regardless. Okay, um, we are going to go ahead and cherry bomb. I think that's safe. Maybe one back. I'm going to try. I'm going to test my luck here. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, saved. Thank you, magnet ring. Thank you, magnet ring. Oh, my gosh. That was that was a little spooky. A little close for comfort on that one. One, two, three, four. All right, can we precision bomb that stump over there? I don't know. Like, if I put it here, I feel like it's going to hit a rock. We're going to try it, though. That hit a rock. Dang it. Okay, well. It's only one experience, but we should uh, we should endeavor not to do that. I, I got to remember that whatever spot it was that hit all four trees. Because then, 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 in theory, I should be able to hit that stump effectively again. Saved by the magnet magnet ring immediately into rip from uh, from my own hubris. That's okay. That's okay. This is uh, the power of the reset. Hey there, Lunar Shadow. No luck with Gus yet, but the day is young. The day is still very young. We've got a lot of stream time ahead of us. I'm not concerned right now. The only concern weighing on my mind is uh, this hardwood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Was did I place the cherry bomb right next to this this sweet pea here? I want to say I did last time, and it worked out nicely. So it's that's one above this like right portion of the stump. Let's try that again. Okay, that seems to be the the sweet spot right there for hitting that stump without hitting the rocks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pre-chop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, I think I went one too far to the left last time when I did this. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. All right, now this one, I think I can just bomb from this other side of, uh, of this stump and we'll be fine. Perfect. Got to remember that the tree falls opposite the direction where Beatrix is, not opposite the bomb. One, two... Three, four, okay. Just feels just just very surgical about it. Just be surgical. Nice. Okay. Now we're gonna put one right about here. That will hopefully hit like this farthest one, as well as a few other ones around here. Give that a try. Didn't hit that uh, that farthest one. I think we might need to go one closer on that in order to get it. That's fine. Let's go, um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. 
And we'll go right about here. Is that safe from that rock? What's the radius on a cherry bomb? I want to say it's three, right? Let's not let's not tempt fate here. Let's just do the do it like this. That's fine. And then I can do one right here. That should definitely hit that lower tree and avoid the rocks, and it'll also hit this tree, I think. I think we're safe doing it right there. Perfect. It's all going according to plan. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm looking over at chat now and I see people saying, no, no, go up, go up. All right, I'm glad I didn't uh, didn't take that risk. All right, that should be the same spot there, so that's fine. Right on. Um, I pre-chopped these trees as well, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I think these... I don't know if I pre-chopped any, any of these up here. I feel like I wanted to leave these five. So we'll just go with that. Pre chop the last couple here. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, Epsilon Aphrodite, thank you for becoming a member at the Electron level. I greatly appreciate the support. Enjoy your newfangled emojis and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. Thank you so much. Yeah, thankfully, bombing trees does not give forging experience. Otherwise, this would be a, a much slower endeavor to get all the hardwood we need. Definitely, we would still be farming in the mines for the hardwood we need for, like, Ginger Island at this point. Alright, I think I'm going to get these two trees as well. I don't think I pre-chopped them. This this one I know is, like, close to being done anyway, because we, we had that little kerfuffle last time. Um, we're going to move Hootie out of the way, just to be on the safe side here. And then we'll just... I'm just going to... I'm just going to bomb. I'm just going to bomb, like, right there. Okay, yeah, that was they were not pre-chopped. I think each one of these cherry bombs is only like one hit. So we were gonna need like ten cherry bombs in order to knock down these trees, but or at least well we'll we'll just go with like this one because I think it only needs one more bomb if I remember right. Yeah. And then I'll just like once so that was that was that was two hits. Am I willing to take this risk? I am. Three, four. Five, six, seven. That's as far as I'm willing to go. We'll bomb the rest. I didn't want to take any more chances than that. One, two, three, four. Okay. That was a little spooky. That was a little spooky right there. But I feel good about that. I feel like it'll save us some bombs for, for future prospects here. All right. One more bomb should do it, I think. Nice. Nice. I was I was math incorrectly, thankfully. One, two, three, four. And one final bomb to seal the deal. Alright. These last few trees, you will regrow everything else. We don't have enough hard actually we might Oh, we're very close to having enough hardwood. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot these trees as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put a bomb right there. Beauty. Also, Hootie, you can go back to your go back to your perch right about there. Perfect. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Did I pre-chop these trees? I honestly don't remember right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put one right there, and we'll see. I did. Okay. Perfect. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Who would have ever thought that, like, chopping down trees in Stardew Valley could be this tense? But we made it. We made it through on the safely on the other side with 133 hardwood and a bit of a cleaner farm to our name. I'm happy with that. Lock it in, baby. Eating potatoes to increase the potato luck. Mina, what kind of potatoes are you eating? Because I, I I would hope you're not just eating like a raw potato, like it's an apple or something. But if you are, I guess more power to you. There are many different forms potatoes can take. 
Why is the barn closed? I wanted to give the the grass a little more time to like regrow and prevent some de prevent debris because we were getting a lot of debris down in front of the barn. You know, I should move the sap over this chest as well. A hundred... You gotta be kidding me. 148. 148 hardwood. 56% of people right now say we should go for the house upgrade, which requires 150 hardwood. We can knock down one more tree. They're roasted potatoes? Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Ooh, pardon me. Yeah, we could knock down one more tree and make that happen. Or is this the sign that we needed from the game to just go get the horse instead? <laughs> I just watched this. You just watched the Stardew video where I was very sure that Stardew was a relaxing game. Most of the time it is. And honestly, even in those tense moments, I'm more relaxed than I am in like most of the rest of my life. Horsey time, it's a sign. Honestly, 56%, it's still basically even right now. It is a little bit leaning towards the house upgrade. So you know what we do in situations like this, chat? Do you know what we do in situations like this? Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Heads is gonna be, uh, hold on. Hold on Siri, one second. Heads. Heads is house upgrade, tails is horse, because a tail a horse has a tail. A house does not have a tail. Alright. The illusion of choice. I mean, if it were more concretely in one direction or another, the, as far as the poll results go, I would I would be more swayed, but it's too close for me to make the call. Alright. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Flip a coin. Tails. Tails. That sounds like a horse to me. A horse also has a head. <laughs> You're not wrong. Revote? What do you mean revote? There's two options. <laughs> it's not, I feel like it's not going to change it. All right, we're getting ourselves a horse, chat. We're going to get ourselves a horse, which means we do not need any more... Uh, we do not need any more hardwood. We What we do actually need is more iron, though, because we need five iron bars as well. So we'll get some iron smelting here. Um... I'll just get the five coal I need. We'll go buy more iron ore at Clint's tomorrow when we're out and about anyway to get our hay. And, uh, and it's horsey time, baby. Horses help with other goals. I'm just going to hope and pray that our next goal does not require the house upgrade. There's literally one goal that requires the, full, the house to be fully upgraded. Like, what are the odds, right? What are the odds? All right, either way. And the, the hardwood will regrow. There will be more hardwood. We need not worry about that. Name the horse Siri. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'll see how we feel in the moment when we get there. Either way, off to bed. I say that, but, but nothing. But nothing. I'm not putting that evil out there in the universe. We're not going to get craft a cask as goal number, as goal number six. Mark my words. It's just not happening. It's happening. It's not in the cards. Will we get to find out today whether that's actually the truth or not? You cannot buy hardwood, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would have been great. Pancakes? He's on the right track. You know what? I see this as an absolute win. He's He's got pancakes. He's, uh, he's tending towards closer to the complete breakfast. My pronouns are he slash him. Thank you for asking. And hello to yourself as well, Clone, Na Clone Nelly. Sorry, I was just like, there was like a, a crumb in my mouth or something from my breakfast earlier that just like fell out from like between my teeth. I know that's like gross, but like it distracted me for a second. I was, I was thoroughly bamboozled. Name the horse to hardwood. <laughs> I'm not saying that if I had gotten that too hardwood, I would have just gone with the house upgrade if I was at actually 150, but I'm not not saying it either. It's fine. It's it's all going to work out for the best, chat. I feel like this is the right call. Look, the, the hardwood's already regrowing. We got so much hardwood already here, and it's just going to spread further. Don't even concern yourselves with it. In the meantime, we just got to wait for... We're going to wait for Marnie to open so we can get some more hay... 
Then we head over to Clint to get the iron ore we need. It's going to be a bit of an expenditure kind of day. But that's all right. Sometimes those are the kind of days you need to, to remember that you're that you're rich from Winter Forge. I'd have to upgrade the house, then spend another 100k on top of that. Imagine the next goal is being another obelisk. <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot of money. I've got a lot of money to burn. Speaking of, actually, you know what we should do here? We're heading down to Marnie's anyway, and we can sell animal produce to Marnie, right? Why don't we bolster our funds a little bit with, uh, with some of our animal produce? Third meteorite when? Let's not get greedy now. I mean, we, we just got our second meteorite yet, like yesterday. Can't be greedy, too greedy with it. So let's just empty our uh, our inventory here. I'll put the iron bar away as well. And we'll just bring as much animal stuff as we can to, uh, to Marnie today. Sell it off and then uh, buy some extra hay with our funds. I'm not sure where we're going to get to. I mean, it depends on what we decide to sell today, I suppose. Take a quick pit stop in the barn first. We'll head down to the coop if need be. We'll put a high focus on the uh, on the higher quality goods here. Like we got 426 iridium large milk, 167 <laughs> large goat milk. I feel like we're gonna be we're gonna be all right here. I feel like everything is gonna work out just swimmingly. We'll leave the rest of that for right now. Head down to the coop and pick up some some iridium quality eggs. I think. Exclamation point year for uh, for which year we're on. I believe it is year eight, if I haven't lost track. Because we had to get to year seven for our Junimo hut, and then we're one year beyond that as far as our, uh, our, our uh, hash browns grind goes. All right. A few void eggs, making things a little spooky here, but that's fine. Um, grab these, grab these, these... Uh, we're saving the rabbit's feet as gifts. Get the wool, get the duck feathers. We can grab like two more things here. Number one, I'm gonna put this this hay into here because there's no sense just leaving it in there. Um, 105 duck eggs and I guess like 127 gold void eggs as well is fine. Sell all the stuff from the coop, then bomb the danger eggs. I kind of like the, the danger eggs, honestly. It's a little more thrilling when I head into the coop now, and I see that there's, like, a potential there for me to just, like, mess everything up and have to reset the day. It's, uh, it makes me feel alive, you know? All right. Supplies, shop. How much are we going to get from this? We're currently at 553,000. All right. That's pre that was pretty good. <laughs> That was almost like what seven hundred thousand dollars right there, as far as uh, as far as money goes. I think we're gonna be all right. Let's buy let's buy a little bit of hay. <laughs> we'll just stock up for a little while here. We're gonna eat into our funds considerably. I'll just buy like a full stack of hay. To be honest with you, I don't see a reason not to. And we still have one point two million dollars, <laughs> so like <laughs> no big deal at all. We're, liter we're literally so rich. We didn't even sell all of our all of our animal produce, and we have, we have over a million. So, I ain't sweating it. Duck feather would be a good gift too. It's good for certain people, yeah. So, I mean, we we still have like a decent amount of duck feathers in there. Gold quality, silver quality. We just don't have the iridium quality, but that's fine. You know, we can check in on this. I think there are still some quests that there's like a chance we could do. Island ingredients is not one of them. Someone could ship 100 pieces of ginger. Yeah, seems unlikely to me. Prismatic jelly is technically possible, but I'm not about to go through that grind right now. Not when we got other things to worry about. Uh, we're going to Clint right now. How much iron ore do we need? We need like 15. We need three more iron bars, so that's like 15 iron ore. Shop. It's not so bad. 5, 10, 15. Take it. Thank you, Clint, for your service. A million dollars before a complete breakfast? What kind of world are we living in? That's, that's the world of the randomizer, I'll tell you right now. 
It's crazy. We got access to Ginger Island. We have uh, all this amazing stuff. Junimo Hut. We've got a... Uh, we got a Junimo Hut, a Desert Obelisk. Our best friend is the Dwarf. We have access to Ginger Island, Calico Desert. We've been down through, like, Floor 100 of Skull Cavern. And yet, we have not made a chest. <laughs> we have chests, but we have not crafted one ourselves. All right, Gus, I'm going to buy this one pancakes just to get it out of your system. And it'll allow me to make more complete breakfasts in the future if I decide to. Did I check the garbage? I might even get more pancakes out of it if I if I do. Nope. All right. A million dollars before breakfast sounds like some of that rise and grind nonsense. Welcome everybody to my online e-commerce series. I'm going to show you how to make a million dollars before you even wake up tomorrow. Let's get started. First, you're going to need to buy my course. It's only 500 it's normally 599.99 now on sale for just $100. It's a steal. You'd be you'd be losing money to not buy it. All right, I'm going to go put this uh, hay away. Actually, I'm going to get my tools because I know there was a, a piece of wood as well down there. Also, get the iron smelting. Pie and Fi. <laughs> Pie and Fi. Name our horse Fi. That could be a good option. Oh, we did have some iron ore, so I didn't need to buy exactly 15, but not that big of a deal. Step one, be born rich. Amen. If only, if only all of us had that uh, had that fortune. But if everyone's rich, then nobody is. But maybe that's maybe that's maybe that's more ideal, honestly. You failed step one. It's okay. I think I think most of us failed step one. <laughs> it's all good. It's a common failure point for this process. Okay, we're gonna go. Might as well just fill it in here. Ah, uh, boom. We'll let the animals back out eventually, but for now, they're just gonna subsist off of hay for the time being, until uh, maybe we can get a little bit of, a little bit more order back to to our situation here. Speaking of, I know there was some debris over here. You know what I could do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? Why don't- we could build a, a little enclosure for our animals out of, uh, out of, like, furniture? We could build, like, a little fenced-off area here so that they can't, uh, they can't, you know... Can't, like, go out and expand and eat all the grass, and they'll just have, like, a little bit of grass for themselves. That's probably a smart idea, right? We just build a... If we go grab our furniture catalog and get some get some fenced-in areas going, I would kind of want to clear some of this debris out of the way. Like, these stones are kind of problematic. I'll wait for more grass to grow back in, and maybe we'll, we'll assess that when push comes to shove. But shove ain't coming to push anytime soon. Couldn't debris still spawn inside it? Yes, but at least it would be more contained within that one area. Um, rather than, you know, just all namby-pamby all over the farm, you know? It would be minimizing it while still giving the animals the freedom of being outside and eating the grass that way. Minimize our expenditures on hay and all that stuff, too. Alright. Off to sleep for the night? I think we're good. Welcome on in, Yuki. Are we still looking for hash browns? I'll tell you in five, four, three, two, one and a half, one. We're closed for the day. Yeah, we're still looking for hash browns. <laughs> Rip. Okay. That's fine. Yo, it's the Luau. We could head to the Luau, but we actually don't need to anymore. It's not that uh, it's not that mission critical. We've already got all our star fruits. I think we honestly like skip out on the luau today. Oh, you know what I didn't do yesterday is I didn't water my uh, my ancient fruit.
horse names Epsilon, Phi, Zeta, Theta, Psi, literally any of the any of the Greek letters. I'm here for it, to be honest with you. You like row for the horse? Row for the horse. It reminds me of like uh, like Rodan from uh, from Elden Ring or something like that. What was his horse's name? It's like Leonard, I think. Something like that. How rare is the trash can hat? Because you keep getting on day, on like day five of your files. I don't know the exact rarity of the trash can hat. To be perfectly honest with you. I don't know if I've ever seen an exact quantity for that. Is there anything else I need to do today? I don't think so, actually. Or Rohan from Lord of the Rings. Or Rohan from Lord of the Rings. Although, I'll, be, I'll admit, I'm less familiar with Lord of the Rings as a property than I am with the, uh, the From Software Expanded Universe. Alright. Gus. Gustavo, my main man Gus. My favorite proprietor of all things Saloon. You're giving me a baked fish. I'm not going to be in today. I'm sorry to tell you that. But what I will be doing today, we got our we got our iron bars, we got our hardwood. I say, let's go get ourselves a horse. Finally, after so much horsing around in the mines with our knight's moves and all that stuff, we're going to have a a different reason to use our horse emojis. So I'll go. We gotta wait for Robin to open, but that's fine. I, I'm willing. I'm more than willing to wait. Clear some debris in the interim. We'll we'll go do our watering as well. Maybe do a trash run or two. Just see how I feel. Just mess around for a little bit. Yeah, we sold a lot of animal products when we went down to Marnie. That's that's why we're really like rich all of a sudden. <laughs> Basically sold all of our like iridium products from our uh, from our coop and from our barn. There's a hat that's alive. I mean that is if you're talking about rare hats, it doesn't get much rarer than the living hat. Yeah, it, it drops randomly from uh, from fiber that you scythe. There's like a one in one in one hundred thousand chance of it dropping from any piece of fiber. I think so. Best of luck. Like, it could drop right here, right now. It didn't, but that would have been pretty great timing. Hey there, Fossa Nova. Welcome on in. We'll now have faster trash runs if necessary, faster love gifts. Yeah, having a horse, it's gonna ha it's gonna have a great many benefits. The only downside, potentially, will be if we get that craft a cask goal, like, relatively soon after this. As long as there's some breathing room between now and when we get a craft a cask goal to, for when we need the house upgrade, um, we'll be okay with this decision. And honestly, even when that does come, even if it comes as our like, very next goal, I'm still going to be happy with my decision because we'll have a horse. And how can you be mad at a horse? You just can't. You just can't. Speaking of which, we're going to end the poll. You literally can't be mad at a horse. It's like physically impossible. You're way more concerned with something like cooked calamari because we can only get squid from trash in the winter. Miss Palindrome, uh, that was originally an option, but I have recently retooled the randomizer. Um, so the prerequisites for cook for cooking calamari now include to catch a squid to prevent those sorts of absolutely insane grinds. So any cooking recipe that requires a specific fish like that now has that fish listed as a prerequisite. Just to avoid that insanity, because that's that's too much of a grind, even for this challenge, I would say. I think that's insane. To look for a season-specific trash item is just too much. Either way. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the beauty? Show it to me. Oh, I just went past it. Allows you to keep and ride a horse. Horse included. Oh, baby! Let's do this. Stable? I mean, select select a building to paint. No, that's not what I wanted them to do. Maybe in the future. All right. Choose a location. How do we feel about... We could go, like, right there. Like, literally right at the edge of the farm. That's probably... that's. We could go one over, maybe? Yeah, I think right there. That feels... That just feels right, you know? Seems perfect to me. 
exclamation point horse. You do not own a horse. We still don't own a horse, but we could change that. <laughs> but you do not own a horse has such a legacy now. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to see that in this challenge. Where you do not own a horse comes from. So it's a r the rarest message in all of Stardew Valley. You do not own a horse. So few people have ever seen it due to the exact specific nature of the circumstances. Really convenient location centered with the grass. I'm with you. Yeah, that's that's perfect. It's like right on the corner of the grass. It's extremely convenient right here. It's not that far from like the, the front door. I don't think we could have picked a better location to be honest with you. Hey there, Crimson. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. I don't know how long a stable takes to build. Is it this traditional, like, uh, three days? I feel like it shouldn't take that long. I mean, it's a relatively small structure, but I guess we'll see. It's a small structure that packs a lot of punch as far as utility goes. So we'll see how that how that feels. Rice pudding, no dice, but we do have one other Hail Mary in the form of Krobus. Exclamation point Krobus, please. Let's see, uh, let's see what he's got to say. Also, if you are cur if you are curious about uh, about what goals we have completed so far, exclamation point complete for all the for the list of all completed goals. What does Krobus say? He wishes it wasn't always so sunny. He feels a lot more comfortable in the rain. I think that these this is boding well. Chat, this is boding well. There is a 2% chance that Krobus could sell hash browns. What do you say, Krobus? Is today the day? Is today is not the day, unfortunately. Little Autumn's bounty. I'll pass today, buddy. I appreciate you wanting to, to give me a good food buff, but it's not the food buff we're looking for. It's all right, next time, next time. Yo, it's me? <laughs> it is, Autumn. It's, it's your bounty, even. Krobus stole them from Gus? I don't know where... I don't claim to know where Krobus gets his food from, but... You know, I'm just gonna turn a blind eye to that whole system. <laughs> Not my Krobus. He's too innocent. He's too innocent for that. Alright, sleepy by time. Give another try here. See how it goes today, Gus. How are you feeling? Did I take enough steps? Did I take the right amount of steps for you to decide? I feel like I'm cooking some hash browns today. Only one way to find out. It's rice pudding again. This guy's got leftovers on leftovers on leftovers. I'm going to drink this Joja Cola just, just for the thrill of it. Stockpile more cherry wine. And keep on going. Will the ultimate Iron Man continue? Eventually, yeah. But I'm having, like, a lot of fun with the randomizer right now. And I feel like I gotta follow that passion to its logical stopping point. But the, uh, the, the Iron Man will definitely make a comeback. Have a good one there, casual gamer. Thanks for hanging out. Where did I put my yeah, battery packs? Right in there. Welcome on in, Tyler Watson. <gasps> the horse! I didn't even notice. It did only take one day. Yo. There he is. There he is. Can we get some horse emojis in chat, please? Some horse emojis? This is a very, very pivotal day. Name your horse Grover? What the heck? What do, what do you... Grover? Grover? What do you think? He's a Sesame Street character? Alright. What are we going to name our horse? What am I feeling in the moment? People were saying... Greek letters, Greek letters. That is in fitting with uh, with our style right now. Let's see, list of Greek letters. What letters do we have? We got alpha, alpha, gamma, omega, epsilon, theta, beta, zeta, tau, sigma, iota, phi, delta, eta, rho, epsilon, kappa, lambda, chi, or chi. Uh, Psi and Omicron. That's, that's a lot of really good options. It's kind of hard to narrow that one down. 
Part of me wants to go Iota. I kind of like Iota. What are you guys feeling? Omicron? You vote for Delta? <laughs> Sigma? <laughs> the Sigma horse? Rho is a good one. Omicron? I see a lot of people saying Omicron. Iota feels so cute, though. Iota, Epsilon, Pi, and Omicron. Pi and Iota. Piota. Piota. <laughs> I'm, feel I'm feeling the draw of Iota. I really like Iota as a horse name. I don't know why. It just seems it just feels like it fits. Iota. Welcome to the world. And it kind of looks like Loda with a lower cap lowercase L, but it's fine. Iota. Congratulations. Let's get you a hat. Why are Greek letters? Why do they have? Why, they all have such good names. Like we could have picked like any of those, and it would have been fine, except maybe like Alpha. But horse d'oeuvre. <laughs> all right, we got to get ourselves a hat for this horse now. What options do we have? Mouse ears on our horse. <laughs> we do have the cone hat. A little cone hat on our horse. Maybe we picked this up at the perfect time. Ayana, I do understand your pain now with a capital I. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it looks so silly. Why do you look so silly in this ca in this cone hat? Iota, you're great. I love you. Oh my gosh. And I'm so zoomy. I'm zooming through the grass at, at breakneck speeds. Stopped only occasionally by rocks and fiber. That's really good. That's a really good hat. We'll mix it up. We won't. We won't stick to just one hat at all times. Yo, look at the look at the family picture. Look at the family portrait we got going. Oh, hold on. Pi is Pi is not having it. A cat. A cat. I mean, definitely cats. Not would not normally sit still for uh, <laughs> for a picture. I'll tell you that. And looks like we have a pretty clean path, free of debris, down to our uh, down to our crop fields here, which is nice. So Iota is definitely going to help in that regard. Cone hat isn't by colors, but because there, there's there's there should be yellow at the top. It's so close though. It's so close. It's all good. It's still a very cute hat. It's still an extremely cute hat. And I think we can all agree on that one. Perfect. Closer to Ace Flux. Probably more on brand, to be honest. Little Ace Flux cute. I like it. I like it. We got a good match. We could also go... I kind of... I just want to test it. I want to test what the mouse ears look like on this... On a horse. I don't think I've ever put mouse ears on a horse. And I saw that, and I'm like... There's a potential that that could be extremely cute, too. Let's have a look here. <laughs> Why does that look so dumb? It looks so dumb. Oh my gosh. What the what on earth is this horse, dude? <laughs> I can't. I can't. That's so good. That's so good. Looks like ram horns. It kinda does look like ram horns. Oh my gosh. That's really, really good. Guy buys a horse to dress it up and call it dumb. The horse is not dumb. Iota is beautiful and great. She she is lovely, but <laughs> looks kind of badass. We'll we'll keep rocking the uh, keep rocking the cone hat, especially because of Pride Month. Definitely, definitely. But uh, we'll we'll mix it up as the challenge goes on. Mark my words on that one. All right. Pop that one away in there. Uh, nothing else doing today, I don't think. So let's go ahead and uh, head to sleepy by time. All right. Can we finally get our hash browns on today? Nice 15th of summer, year eight. Could this be the day? 
What do you say, Gus? Is today the day? Is today the day? It's a spicy eel. He keeps frying all these eels up. Nobody's eating them. Nobody's eating the eels, Gus. You gotta take a hint. I'm sorry to tell you. Alright. I probably don't want to take Iota around doing, like, Debris Day, necessarily. It might make it go a little faster, but, like, trying to navigate her through through all this... All this is, uh, is probably less than ideal, especially once we try to go to, like, the inside of the farm there. I think she's good at getting a perimeter check as far as, uh, like, tree seeds and stuff go. But when we want to get to the nitty-gritty in the middle, we're going to have to... Gonna have to let Beatrix go that one on her own. Today is not the day. Days without hash browns? I mean, we st we went with the... Uh, <laughs> we went... We, when did we start looking for hash browns? I want to say, like, we started this grind officially, like, winter 2nd, something like that. The day after we caught the red mullet. So we've been going for... We've been going for over half of a year at this point. It's been a long time coming. Long time coming and a long time going. Awfon, thank you for being a member for 13 months at the Neutron level. Speaking of a long time, holy moly. <laughs> Over a year on that one, too. Another month and a milestone. Thank you for the streams. Thank you for continuing to support them. I greatly appreciate the generosity. You are incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do a hash brown counter like with the fish. I, I part, part of me wanted to originally, but then I was like, uh, I was like, nah, it's not going to take that long. Turns out it will take that long. But I don't necessarily have the wherewithal to go set up that counter right now. Not that it would be that hard, I guess, but it would be, uh, it would take time away from the actual searching of the hash browns, you know? Welcome on in, Karita. You haven't missed anything. Don't worry. We still have not found the hash browns. You haven't missed anything, and chat has been uh, free of roller coaster insanity so far. So far, so good. I think the reactions were the thing that were causing the problem. So uh, we'll just stay away from those until YouTube can can get itself in order, because that, sh that should not be happening. That's for sure. We could probably clear the trees back here. I kind of want to clear these trees, honestly. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think. Oh God. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Honestly, I think I accidentally hit one of these trees with my ax one time. So I'm only gonna go eight on these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two meteorites. The second meteorite came in last time. The horse literally just came in, so you haven't missed too much there, thankfully. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that Did that hit my ancient fruit? I couldn't even tell. Alright, stick a bomb like way over to the side here. I'm feeling a little risky with it. Little risky, little frisky. Now we, let's take a step closer after we pretty chop these. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Take an extra step closer. It's a little close, but we'll try it. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four. And I think the rest of this we save for cherry bombs. I think we'll come back with some cherry bombs tomorrow and we'll take care of business there. Because that's a little too close to certain rocks for my liking. Time to clench the buttocks again. Oh, just a little bit of clench. Just a little, little baby clench right there. It's okay. I had it all under control. Chat, you know you can trust me, right? When it comes to bombing trees, no one does it better. No one does it better. Mostly because no one does it, period. But... <laughs> Alright, off to bed.
Pi represents the irrationality of this challenge, and Iota represents the tiny pieces of the randomizer spit splits the, the perfection into. I like the lore con stick. I like the, the rationalization of the names of the lore. I appreciate that. That's the kind of that's the kind of energy we strive for around here. Tom Ka Soup. Tomorrow's another day. I said that already? I said a lot of things already. In fact, I don't even know what you're referring to in this exact moment, but... <laughs> the day I go without repeating myself on stream is the day, uh... Is the day I retire. Alright, let's go buy... Not buy, but get a cherry bomb. Ch -ch -ch cherry bomb! Have I given the programming tip yet? Today's programming tip of the day. Name your variables in, in sensible ways. Like, holy, it's such a basic concept, but you need to name your variables in sensible ways so that when you come back in, like, like eight months and you don't remember anything else about the project, you can just look at it. And, uh, I was very close to hitting that rock, I just realized now. <laughs> you can look at it and remember what each variable does or at least have a, a reasonable idea. Don't just name your variables, you know, like X. No, that's not helping anybody. All right? You, need, you work with people that don't do that and it makes you want to cry every time. There's literally no reason not to other than just like laziness. It, ta it takes zero extra time. <laughs> and it's and it's so helpful for the future. It's like unreasonable that uh, that people would not do it. Honestly, I think there's a fiber right there. Yeah, there's there's something else right there. I guess that's a stone. It's all good. It's all good, man. You know exactly what I said. Thank you. Non-programmers be like, ah, yes, variables. I understood that reference. This song is from Mother 3. This is called, uh... Natural... This is... I don't know if it's, what, if it's actually called this, but it's the song that plays during the Natural Killer Cyborg fight from Mother 3. Probably my favorite song, both in the soundtrack and, like, one of my favorite songs, period. I just love the energy of it. You recognize it from Smash Bros? They probably did some kind of remix in Smash Bros, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's, uh, it's iconic. It's an iconic song. Rule for capitalization, don't. I mean, when it comes to, when it comes to, like, programming and stuff, capitalization, everyone has their own preferred methods of approaching it. Don't capitalize, probably... Probably, probably not my preferred option, but, you know, if, if it's between not capitalizing and capitalizing, like, everything, then probably not capitalizing is the way to go. <laughs> I guess for, like, as far as, like, debugging and stuff goes, yeah, if you want, if you keep it all consistently lowercase, then, then that's probably the best way to do it. That way you at least know and you won't, like, throw any actual, any, like, random capitals in there. Camel case, it's neat to look at, but, like, as far as, like, simplicity of debugging, I can definitely see the rationale behind no capitals. Anyway, let's go to sleep. You're just curious how long I can keep going with it? With what, programming tips of the day? I can keep going as long as we need to. I just have to come up with constantly more, like, basic programming tips. And eventually I'll start repeating myself, but... <laughs> Eggplant Parmesan. Another day without hash browns under the belt. It's alright. I can smell them, chat. I can smell them. Gus is getting ready to cook, cook up some hash browns. It's not far now. Eggplant, eggplant Parmesan is a new one. I think we've had eggplant parmesan. We had it like one time last stream, so it's not entirely new. 
but I feel like we've seen just about every single other dish that, that Gus can give us, other than hash browns, which is pretty hilarious. COVID took your taste, help you. I'm, I wish I could help you, Peridot, but it's uh, <laughs> it's one you just gotta ride out, unfortunately. Just do what you gotta do. And uh, it sucks, but it'll you'll reach the end eventually. That much I can promise you. The sad music while I talk about no hash browns. Maybe the sad music. Maybe it's about to be motivational, inspirational music when we get more eggplant parmesan. This this guy's just rocking like the two day special every single time. He did back to back rice pudding, back to back eggplant parmesan. I don't know what his problem is, dude. Including the times we check both places for hash browns. That's 83 checks, 73 days. But excluding the times I got omelets, tortillas, and fried eggs, that's 79 slash 69 checks so far on the counter. So are you telling me 73 days? Se 74 days without hash browns. 84 checks, 74 days. I you know what? Miss Palindrome, you went through the trouble of, of counting all that up. I'm going to trust you on it. I'm going to go ahead and we'll set up a hash brown counter live. Let me let me get this going. Let me see. I can definitely make this happen, I think. Give me one second. I've, I've gotten good at this, I promise. All right. Set this count, set this to zero, and save that. All right, that's step one. Enable this script for auto hotkey. That's step two. Now, go over here, open up, where is it? Where is it? Cricket, we'll do it live. Okay. Paint.net, open this up here, go over here, stream assets. Take this uh, overlay here. Then I will get rid of the thing that's already in there. Get wait, no, I can. Let me open the other one. Actually, let me open blue discus overlay. Then I will take this and I'll remove the blue discus out of the equation. You guys can't see what's happening, and I I I, I apologize. I just don't want to accidentally show anything that I shouldn't show. Otherwise, I would show you exactly what I'm doing. All right, open up, go to Stardew Valley Assets, search Hash Browns. Hash Browns located. Open that file up right there. Copy it on over to the blank overlay. You know what? We'll double the size on that son of a gun. 200% nearest neighbor size increase. New layer, pop that in there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Days without Hash Browns. All right, save this hash brown overlay. Set that as a PNG, perfect, you got it, nailed it. Beautiful, don't save that. All right, so save the other thing, but don't save the other thing. Is he in the mainframe yet? We're almost there, we're working on it. Head over to here, pop this open where it says blue discus counter. We're gonna rename this. Rename this to hash brown. Count. Perfect. Um, reset this thing right here to where's my hash brown overlay? Hash brown overlay located. I'm gonna have to move this out of the way a little bit, probably, but we'll 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 mess mess around with it once I make it visible here. Alright. Hash brown. Put that right there. Okay, so we're at zero. We got to put this at 74, right? 74 is the correct number. According to uh, Miss Palindrome, I believe, 74 is the number that sticks out in my head. Let me go over to this counter, counter document, counter.txt, 74. Save that. Should auto update. Perfect. All right, you love to see it. We're going to have to decrease the size of that number if we go into triple digits, but you know what an easy solution to that is? Just don't go into triple digits. 
74 days without hash browns. 74 was the days, not the checks. That's what I that's what I want. I want seven, I want the days because it's fun to say 74 days without hash browns. It's rather than the 74 checks with 84 checks without hash browns, but I like it. No worries, Evie. We cooking. Welcome on in, Wickedy. Welcome on in. It's good to see you. We're trying to cook. If the if the game will if the game will indulge us, I would absolutely love to cook, but the game has yet to say let him cook, unfortunately. Anyway, there's our hash brown overlay created live live on on stream with you. Didn't take all that long. Mostly because I uh, I've made many such overlays in the past. All right, sorry, Pi, you're a little in the way. You guys can hang out there, <laughs> have a little powwow down there. We do own a horse now. We literally got a horse just the other day. We invested our hardwood in it, a hundred hardwood. It was a it was a tough pill to swallow, but I think it's going to be great for the future of the challenge. All right, now I should be able to increase the counter like so. Let me actually, I'm going to move this so I can see the counter more effectively. There we go. All right. Day 75. Is today the day, Gus? Is today the day for the hash browns? Now that you made me go through all the trouble of setting up a hash brown counter. Okay, that would, it would have been perfectly on brand for them to give me hash browns right then. That's how it went with the uh, with the metal heads. <laughs> as soon as we got our whole setup going, then then they just dropped ourselves dwar dropped a dwarf scroll three, right on my face. And who knows? Maybe that'll still come to pass. He is back to tubers. He is back. I didn't even see what he was selling. Honestly, I just saw it wasn't hash browns. It's parsnip soup. Parsnip soup. That's what he was selling. And uh. But, you know what, it's not hash browns, we don't need it for any other cooking recipes, so... No, of no interest to me, as far as I'm concerned. And that old Skull Cavern Treasure Room script, that one too, that's the... That's the progenitor of it. Of doing all this work, and then... And then reaping no benefits from the actual, uh, process. It is what it is. Alright, Gus. Show it to me. Show me... Those golden brown flakes. Not not those golden brown cakes. He misheard me. So close, Gus. You are so close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> flakes, not cakes. I mean, I don't even know if you would classify hash browns as flakes, but... <laughs> they are flaky. They are flaky. They're definitely not cakey. Krobus, save us. Krobus coming to save the day. Here we go. Riding down to Krobus for the very first time on our on our new new friend Iota here. Let's go. Close enough to potato flakes. Now you want to make pancakes? I have been getting hungry for pancakes during this whole grind. That's the only thing that's happening. Tom Ka soup? Not even close, I'm afraid. Similar in color, that's about it. How much friendship are we at with Krobus? We're still doing fine. He's we're at like a quarter of a heart with Krobus, not even quite. So we we still have some time. There will come a time if this grind takes long enough where we'll have to neglect talking to Krobus, Neg neglect ne ugh, neglect Krobus entirely. At least for a little while, but uh today is not that day. Hash browns are flaky. You can't depend on them whatsoever. That's what I'm learning right now. Holy moly. Or grab a slingshot, I guess. Yeah. Although, if they're really going to make me slingshot Krobus down into down to zero friendship, is it even worth getting the hash browns at that point? What will we have become if we if we have to shoot our best friend with with big stones from our slingshot or eggs or anything like that in the service of these hash browns. I'm not going to let I'm not going to let the game change my morality like that. Ain't no way. Uh let's go water the ancient fruit at least. Today I feel like it should be an ancient fruit harvest day. We'll see if the Junimos are out and about. 
Feels like I've been watering these for a hot minute. Maybe not, though. Maybe they just get in and out so fast. We do have nine ancient fruits, so they've been harvesting. Just I don't always get to see it. Glug, glug. My morality will accept going to Joja. Yeah, you know what? It will. <laughs> I draw the line in weird places, but uh, it's my line to draw. You may draw yours separately. Over there somewhere. Just give him some garbage before talking to him if it comes down to it. Just give him, just give him, here's a big soggy trash bag. Anyway, you want to sell me some hash browns today? <laughs> Sounds perfect. It's a blueberry tart kind of day. You know what, you know what kind of day it actually is though? Can anyone tell me what today is? Because it's a very special day. It's a very special day. I'm giving you all the clues you need. I'm giving you all the clues. It's That's right, it's Debris Day. <laughs> no, homie. Happy birthday to our homie. Our one and true only homie. Birthday gift, that's very kind of you. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friend. Love you. Get some homies in chat, please. Homies. <laughs> the ultimate homie. Still still living up to her name. Perfect. Alright. I mean, she has been a real homie with all the bombs she's been providing for our, our tree escapades. It'll be a lot more, uh... A lot more cumbersome to get all the bombs we needed, if not for our homie there, so... I'm glad that that worked out that way. Think of how lonely we could have been. It is kind of nice, you know, having the first goal having been a friendship goal. And a friendship goal that we had to work so long and so hard for, and we actually get, like, quite a bit of benefit out of it now. From, uh, from having, like, access to the dwarf shop. It's just a great time all around, I would say. We may, we may have begrudged it when we were going through the process, but having reached uh, this point now, best friends with the dwarf, access to Ginger Island, free teleports forever to the desert. This is fate, dude. This is fate. The way that we've established our farm now, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. The grind was fully worth it. All however many hours we've put into this so far, been 100% worth it. And we're only going up from here. Missed a seed by the Hootie Horde? <laughs> the Hootie Horde! <laughs> That's so good. Missed the seed up here, you're telling me. Yeah, we did. Right in front of Hootie there. Hootie and the chickens. Hooties and the chicken. Chicken and the hooties? All I know is that there's no blowfish involved whatsoever. The way it's been going really does remind you of RuneScape satisfaction. It's true, yeah? That that long grind, that long-term grind, just constantly looking towards the horizon as the light gets ever so closer ever so slightly closer until eventually until eventually you make it and get that final dopamine release ash brown counter needs updating did i not update it today did i did i not update it i thought i i updated i updated it at the start of the day i thought either way we'll update it right now Ooh, nice rainy day don't need to worry about watering crops again today very very nice I am at 79 now, is what you're telling me? Okay, so I missed two days. I need to get on, uh... I need to get on track with that, I guess. Alright, 79, according to Miss Palindrome. Res resident, uh... Resident mathematical expert on all things number-related in Stardew. Uh, I don't need to go ahead and do anything today, actually. I think we're good. Lock it in.
Will Saturdays have two checks? It's not a check counter, it's a day counter, though. We're not, we're not, we're not counting checks, we're counting days. Days since hash browns. Days without hash browns, rather. You do a lot of counting with lists and stuff, that's very funny. <laughs> Sashimi? Sashimi is a new one, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've seen Sashimi yet. Not that I'm excited about it whatsoever. It's literally, like, the easiest thing in the world to make. When we get the goal to cook Sashimi, it's gonna be like... Wait, wait what was the goal? We already... Oh, well, we already did it. There's already Sashimi in my hands. That's a fish, not a potato, yeah. Learn the difference, Gus. Come on. It's not that hard. Although, for all I know, there is, like, a... There's probably a potato fish out there, isn't there? There's so many different kinds of fish. And there's guaranteed to have been, at some point, some scientist or marine biologist, whatever. Ichthyologist who went and, uh... The four days of rain, holy moly. They went and they saw a fish, a brand new species of fish, and they're like, that looks like a potato. I'm gonna call it a potato fish. <laughs> I feel like this is how it works sometimes. There is a pit fish called a potato grouper. I want a group with potatoes on a plate. Potato bass? You're telling me there's two different potato fish? <laughs> what kind of world do we live in where there's two different potato fish? I wasn't even confident there'd be one, and now you're telling me there's there's dozens of them. Oh, did I? I didn't increase the counter, did I? Increase the counter. All right, 81. Lock it in again, and increase the counter right away now. Five days of rain! Holy moly, we're making up for lost time now. Alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, I'll take it. Carp surprise? Don't make me repeat myself from yesterday, Gus. It's not the kind of surprise I'm looking for. Where did that tree fall? A tree falls on the farm, and, and Beatrix comes outside to hear it. Does it drop wood? Does it give foraging experience? Now it depends. Was it bombed? Was it lightninged? All of the above? It is surprising. It is it is a carp surprise. But it gets less surprising every time he brings it up. Potato grouper and potato bass are, are the same fish. Also called a potato cod. More like a potato god. I don't know what that means. That stump has always been there. I, I need to know where this tree fell. Was it one of our hardwood trees? If it was, if it was one of our hardwood trees, that's a bit unfortunate, to be honest with you. Because I'd like to leave them to 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 spread their seeds a bit more. It looks like we're safe there. A lot of summer forage, though. Boop. Am I getting unlucky with the hash browns, or are these just normal odds? I mean, I honestly don't know. I haven't done the math. I know from Krobus specifically, the odds of getting hash browns are uh, 2%, at least according to the wiki. But I don't think the odds are... Uh... Oh, there it is. There we go. I don't think the odds were calculated on the wiki, and I didn't calculate them myself for the Star Drop Saloon. It should be higher than 2%, though. I'm pretty sure. Because uh, there are fewer options than there are at Krobus. Have a good one there, Tyler. It's the same odds. Yeah, they're not. it's not the same odds, because... Uh, Probus can give more potential options than uh, the Star Drop Saloon can. If you fry a potato fish, is it fish sticks or chips slash fries? Yes. That would be my, my personal answer to that. I'm all flummoxed. I'm all over the place today. I forgot to put my battery pack away. This whole hash brown situation, it's causing me great consternation. Will we get the legendary six days of rain in a row? No. The storm has finally lifted. A 
storm only rivaled by the legendary storm in the Price of Perfection where we caught the where we caught the actual legend. What the heck? There it is! He's selling them! Yo, Gus, finally! I wasn't ready! <laughs> And as the storm clears from the sky, so too does the storm clear in our heart from the 83 days without hash browns. The hash brown drought is over. Can we get some potato emojis in chat? Just all the potato emojis and hype and everything. Holy moly. All right, we just have to wait till noon. We just have to wait till noon now. Don't tell me Krobus is also selling hash browns today. Could you imagine? We have to go check. Is it is it just hash brown day? International hash brown day, summer 27th? Come on. <laughs> that would be too perfect. That would be so good. I need to I need to know. I need to go find out. I mean, I'm skipping watering the crops for right now. I don't even care. Got to check for trash browns too. <laughs> You're not wrong, trash browns. Come on, Krobus. Krobus, just, you know, just, just, just finish it off right. Just make it perfect. Make it the perfect day. That perfect breakfasty kind of day. How do you feel about it? Vegetable medley, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. He's doing his own thing. I can't, I can respect that. Let's go buy some hash browns. What do you say? Well, we have to wait, but... May I mean, maybe we don't have to wait. Maybe we don't have to wait at all. Maybe we don't have to pay a single dime. No, we do. Okay. <laughs> worth a look. Worth a look. Vegetable medley could go well with hash browns. You're not wrong. That, that kind of would hit the spot, honestly. Only nine days after setting up the counter. <laughs> Oh, that's the way it goes. It's the eternal truth. When in doubt, when when the RNG is not on your side, just set up something to track how bad your RNG is, and eventually, and shortly afterwards, you'll probably reach the end of it. And we do get to see another goal today. That's the highlight of all this at the end of it. Uh, oops, I, I'm blocking chat now with the with how I'm having my windows set up. Can't have that. Can't be having that. No siree. It's literally just going to be that easy. We go go get our hash browns. We cook ourselves a complete breakfast. Maybe two if I'm feeling a little fancy with it. I think I have enough ingredients to make two. And, uh, and we're on to goal number six. Whatever that might be. Now, will goal number six prove equally damning, or will it be, uh, will, it, will we finally reach equilibrium? Will we finally enter the flow state as far as goals go? Could this be the legendary day where we get, um, where we get to double-digit goals? I don't know. I do not know. All I know is that the hash browns are on their way. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap back around this way, because I don't want to leave uh, Iota down here. Make my way over to the saloon. Making my way. You're about to say we need the hash brown like we did with the cactus fruit. Could you imagine if we went 5,000 days without a hash brown? The odds of that, I can't even begin to calculate. That would have been horrible. All right, well, I'm actually going to take this opportunity while we wait here to uh, go to the washroom real quick. I'll leave you here at the at the saloon, just in a bit of a different uh, respect. I'm going to take this opportunity. It seems like the perfect time since we're waiting anyway. And I will be right back to buy some hash rounds with all of you. BRB.
Chat, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything important? What were we even, like, waiting here for? I forget now. I can probably just, I can just, like, go home, right? I don't think we were waiting for anything too, too important here. Let's just head on home and we'll keep on, uh, keep on checking for the hash browns. Oh, wait! <laughs> Alright, let's go do it. Hash browns, baby! Hash browns! Gus, you magnificent man. Two hash browns! What a legend! We need two. Ha we actually need two hash browns for cooking, don't we? Need we need one for uh, one for a complete breakfast, and one for dish of the dish of the dish of the sea. I want to say. I believe that's correct. That is perfect. That's exactly how many we need. Museum Grack reads. Thank you for the one forty nine super sticker. Looking like a diamond in the rough. I greatly appreciate it. And at last, I see the light. And it's golden, and it's brown. And at last I see the light. It's beautiful. We will never need Gus again. Not, uh, not never, we'll need to befriend Gus eventually, so you know. Whether you count that as needing Gus, I'll leave that up to viewer interpretation. Either way, let's put away all our goodies here. We do need to... Well, let's get the cherry wine going as well. Don't let everything go by the wayside here. Alright. Put away our hash browns. We need one last little thing before our breakfast is complete. We need to go grab some milk from our cows. Pie? I'm... Alright, alright. It's okay. We'll take a, de we'll take a detour here. Alright, pie. Look, this is, this is a little awkward. Alright. <laughs> I've been waiting so long to make this complete breakfast pie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't I can't wait for you to wake up and be silly and cute, although you are very cute. The browns have officially been hashed. Let's just let's bring up some let's bring up like a lot of milk. Why not? Let's bring up 65 regular quality milk and just toss it in our fridge for for future cooking endeavors. I'm, car I'm carrying this jug of milk like it's the Olympic torch, dude. Like it's a, like it's a freaking trophy here. Carry it on home, baby. Sixty-five milk straight into the fridge. There it is. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Can we get some whatever breakfast-themed emojis you've got? Because we're about to complete goal number five of the randomizer and cook this complete breakfast. Holy moly. Let's make it. There it is. You feel ready to take on the world? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> plus two farming buff, 200 energy, plus 50 max energy even. It's nice, wanna see me do it again? I'm not going to, because I need those hash browns for the future and we don't want to repeat this, but there it is. You know what? Table gold, you've had your time in the sun. It's time for breakfast. It's a little breakfast treat waiting for us whenever we might need it. Perfect. Alright. Lock that son of a gun in. And let's go let's go get ourselves a new goal. <laughs> let's go get ourselves a new goal, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and uh unpin this. The stream is still young. We, we still got a lot of time left in the stream. A lot of time for more goals to unfold here. Let me get things set up. Oh gosh, I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready. Ooh. A goal blessed by the B boss song. B underscore boss dot OGG. Couldn't, couldn't have picked a better song myself, to be honest with you. Perfect, perfect timing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's freaking go. I am also going to. Well, we'll do. We'll sort that out later. The tracker in the top left. It's fine. For now, let's just switch on over here. Oh, backspace, backspace. All right. Here we go. By the grace of the bees, we are back here once again to generate a new goal. 
Will it be something that's actually, like, terrible and problematic? And, yeah, I mean, that's what we've come to expect. First, I mean, first, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Cook a complete breakfast, just finished. All done. 0.9% of the way to perfection. Almost 1% of the way there. This is the goal that's going to push us over 1 percentile of perfection. Let's get it in before the song's over. Are you ready? Three, two, one, send it. Ship a bone fragment. We have bone fragments. I can do that. I can do that. Ship a bone fragment, baby. I can, that, that's, that's easy, easy pickings. No freaking way. <laughs> All right. So, sometimes it's just that easy, chat. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We're about to bust this challenge wide freaking open. It's going to take me longer to change the current goal. Um, ship a bone fragment. But I'm going to do it for posterity's sake. Six out of 565. Perfect. Don't change the goal, just do it. Just do it! Nothing is impossible. Alright, what I will do, though, I'm going to switch back in here. We're just going to go... I'm not going to change the thing in the top left. I will just, you know, make it invisible for right now, though, just so we're not all... We're not confused here. That is our very first shipping goal. We can we can finally sell something via the shipping bin for money. It's, it's bone fragments, but it is... Uh, <laughs> It is something. Now, where did I keep? Where do I keep the bone fragments? Is the real question. Bone fragments. We're only going to sell one because who knows when we might need more. Ship a single bone fragment. Also, look at our collections real quick here. Ooh, looking nice. Looking fancy. Got the fish. Got the cooking going. Very, very good. Museum Grack reads. Thank you for the 149 super sticker again. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow for Pride Month. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, the graphic on the top is probably only needed for grindy goals, because guess what? Goal number six has just been <laughs> accomplished. <laughs> Technically not. Technically not. We have to, like, end the day before that's considered, like, shipped. So let's go ahead and sleep this one away. And, uh, man, that was, a cr that was the craziest grind yet, chat. I can't believe we made it. Yo! Can we get some bone emojis in that? Bone emojis! We be rolling goals. Let's go. There it is. 12 gold for a bone fragment. You love to see it. Hello, moon. So good. <laughs> I've never seen so many bones in chat before. Holy moly. All right. And just to confirm, that's our very first thing shipped on page three of the shipping collection. <laughs> Bone fragment is there. All right. Let me uh, open up the randomizer again. Bring it back. Oh, I need to set this up the right way, though. There we go. Hold on a second. Three. Don't worry about it. All right. Finish goal. Officially, 1.1% of the way to perfection. Can you get some 1.1s in chat? And uh, let's not belabor the point anymore. 1% of the way, baby. We just got to do that 100 more times. <laughs> or 99 more times, I guess. All right. Yeah, let's not, let's not waste any more time here. 3, 2, 1, generate. Run it. Ship an eggplant? We got eggplants! We have eggplants! We planned for this circumstance! Let's do it! Get some eggplant emojis! I'm not going to worry about changing the goal command either, to be honest with you. I mean, for, for things like this, it's just it just, it's just silly to do that. All right. And Francine Annetson, thank you for the $50, 50 NOK. I'm not sure what currency that is, but I greatly appreciate it. That's a very cute little dog there. That's a very cute. What's he, what's he painting? I just see, I just saw one. Oh, and then it disappeared on me. Oh, it, there's too many eggplants. There's too many egg. It got shoved out of the way by all the eggplants. <laughs> there it is. Thank you very much for the support. I greatly appreciate it. Norwegian Krona? Norwegian Krona. Okay, good to know. Thank you. 
All right, let's go get let's go ship an eggplant, shall we? Should just be right over here in our crops chest, either that or in the uh, in the Junimo hut. So, all right, eggplant incoming. We did get the hash browns, Lisa. Yeah, we got the hash browns, and now we are officially steamrolling goals. Tonight around ten o'clock, we're gonna go to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Do we want to go to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies? How much seafoam pudding do we have right now? We have like four seafoam puddings, right? Three seafoam puddings. Chad, are we going to go to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies? Do you think we should? We should wait it out? No, no? All right, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Exclamation point complete is not going to be up to date. I'll, I'll update it after the stream or once we hit a, like a really grindy goal or something. But uh, for now, ship that eggplant, baby. Now we can ship all the eggplants we ever wanted. And it's about to be fall. Chad, we can just grow a bunch of eggplants and, ha and get so much money. We're going to be an eggplant farmer. <laughs> Out of all things I thought I'd be doing in my life, I didn't think eggplant farming would be among them, but we can we can get some, uh, we can go eggplant farming. Junimo Plus, you know what, Epsilon Aphrodite? You're absolutely right. Today's the last day of the season. Let's get, let's get the Junimo Plush. I've been putting it off for eight long years, like seven and a half years. I just keep forgetting and forgetting and forgetting. We can go get the Genoma plush today. I'm okay with that. We'll do. We'll start with just a little bit of clearing of the debris. A little bit of debris management, even though it's not a debris day. We'll first we'll water. Do a little watering, and I just got to make sure to be up there for noon, right? Noon is the time. The Junimos deserve it. We can put the Junimo plush down by the Junimo hut. That would be kind of cute. It would get in the way of some of our farming land, but not. it's not like we're using a lot of it right now. There we go. Take Iota and just sit my booty over there because they keep getting distracted. What do you mean? I don't get distracted all that easily. I don't get distracted easily at all. Ooh, debris. Chat, I don't get distracted. I'm always laser focused on the task at hand, and you can't say otherwise. I, I always have my, my thumb on the pulse of this challenge and what it needs. And what it needs right now is for me to clear this debris. You know what, there is debris up by the community center slash Jojo warehouse that I can just take out anyway, so I might as well do my debris, um, get my debris fix over there, right? If I can get past all these trees, holy moly. <laughs> yeah, he's not me. Truth be told, all streamers are highly distractible. I think in large part because streaming requires your focus on a lot of things all at once. All right, ship the mussel as well. The eggplant is officially gone into the deeper into the shipping bin, so there's no bringing it back. It's not debris day. You're right. Tomorrow is debris day. Tomorrow is another debris day. Today is Junimo plush day. With just, you know, a little a little side hustle of debris. It's going to be such a great day when we finally get to clear out some of this stone, but... Who knows when that's going to be. We still have yet to gain a single level in any skill. Will today be the day we finally get to level up in something? Current goal is not ship a bone fragment. You know what? Since we're like playing this day out anyway. Current goal is 7. Goal number 7, ship an eggplant. I almost misspelled eggplant. That would be very embarrassing. With only one G. Who spells eggplant like that? No way. Alright. Lewis really is a lazy excuse of a mayor. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't hold like a single like community cleanup day like once at once per year even. Anything like that? All right, it's this it's this bush here, right? That's the bush where the Junimo plush is gonna pop out of. Is it that bush or is it like is it this bush? It makes a world of difference. Is it the one behind the playground? It's by the park. Is this one here? Okay. Many people many people are saying this. Many people are saying it's this bush. Come on. 11:40, 11:50. Show me the magic. Show me the magic. Middle one? Middle one? It's not that? It's this one? What the heck? That's not a shakable bush. <laughs> How is that June? You could you should have been able to see the Junimo plush behind that one. That's not a real bush, chat. That's a fern. That's not even a bush. <laughs> what on earth can be placed as a decoration? There you go. We got it. Lou is stopping by to check out the shipping bin every day. And finally, after all this time, has a crop to check off the list. <laughs> and it's an eggplant. <laughs> How would you feel if you're Lewis? You come into our farm every day for eight years. And finally, you see a, something new in the shipping bin. And it's a freaking eggplant. All right. Here we go. We got ourselves the Junimo plush. Can we get some apple emojis in chat? There you go. You will protect. You will protect the Junimos. He's, he's, he looks a little spooky there. I'm actually gonna put him right there. It's gonna block. It's gonna make it harder. I have to like walk around him to get to water these, but it's fine. With the grass there, it really does just look like a big green apple. <laughs> you can't see the eyes at all. That's just that's just an apple, guys. I I don't know what to tell you on that one. Get a mining level so I can clear some of this debris. That's what we're hoping. That's that would be a great next goal. Speaking of which, hey, let's go uh, see how much that eggplant was worth. All right, Gus, I swear, I swear, right now, don't make me swear right now. Today's special is sashimi. All right, that's fine. You're off the hook this time. If that was hash browns again. Ooh, this man. <laughs> All right. Go to sleep for the night? Yeah. Lock that in. 60 gold for an eggplant? Not bad. Not bad. Maybe maybe being an eggplant farmer won't be so bad, honestly. But will eggplants be the only thing on our mind as we head into fall here? I would certainly think not. I would certainly hope not. Let's head back over to the randomizer, shall we? Ba boom. All right. Finish this goal. This finish this goal. Ship an eggplant. Done. Easy. What else you got for me, pal? One point two percent of the way to perfection, and no signs of slowing down. All right. You ready? Everyone ready? Cross your fingers. Hold hands. Three, two, one. Run it back. Ship a magma cap. Okay, um, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's doable. <laughs> that's okay. It's going to be a little bit of an adventure, but it's fine. It's highly doable. We are, we have access to Ginger Island. That shouldn't be a problem. Not super easy, but not impossible or bad. Yeah, no, this is a... Uh, we just have to find a magma cap is is all there is to it. We have to find a magma cap and we have to navigate the volcano without mining any rocks or killing any monsters. All right, we're going to have to prepare for this one. This is going to be a, a preparation heavy session. But uh for this we we'll definitely change the goal command, absolutely. All right, ship a magma cap. Holy moly. <laughs> This is also on like page three of our shipping, uh, of our shipping collection. I'm pretty sure. Ship a magma cap. We 
We need a ton of food. We have a lot of salads. Do we need more food than that? I guess we'll we'll see. We'll we'll evaluate once we get back into the farm here. Um, whoops. I should probably change back to to this. Send you back here for a second. Volcano Dwarf. Yeah, if we get to floor 5 of the Volcano, there's like a guaranteed drop of a magma cap from one of those crates, right? What did, what did, what did MX Math say? Um, let me see. I can use the crate next to the Dwarf. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was, I was pretty sure it's almost like a guaranteed drop of a magma cap if we can get there. And then there'll be no forging XP whatsoever, so we can definitely... We could take the forging XP, but I feel like it's more fun to, to go all the way to floor 5. And, uh... And that'll be an adventure on its own. Plus, we skip the XP, we get the guaranteed magma cap. I think it'll be great. I think we can do it. We can definitely do it. All right, bring you on in over here. Um, You know what we can do as well. One second, one second. I got, I've, I've prepared for this eventuality, I think. Give me a hot second chat. Yeah, 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 this one. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Boom, done. Ready to go. Meet homie's cousin. Yo! <laughs> we have to meet our homie's cousin. All right. Let's get ready, shall we? Let's get ready for this. Pass out next to the dwarf. I don't want to pass out. I want to. I want to make it out of there alive. <laughs> I have faith. We got forty-two salads and a dream. All right. Is this? Do you think this is good enough, or should we go stock up on some other stuff? We could go to Harvey and buy a bunch of like. Uh, well, does he have? No, doesn't the dwarf? The dwarf doesn't she sell like life elixirs or something like that? I feel like these monsters, they're going to hit hard in the Volcano. Don't forget, we have zero combat levels. Our, our HP is at its base level. I'm going to I'm gonna load up on what defensive supplies I can. Do we have any defense boosting food? We had the Autumn's Bounty right at our fingertips that one time. Do you have... You do have life elixirs. So that restores us to full health. Speed. Speed is a good call as well. Thank you, Wickedy. Yes, yeah, speed and defense would both be good. If if we don't have defense, we should just go hard on speed. Um, I will buy... How many life elixirs should we buy here? They're 2,000 each, which is not super cheap, obviously. Oil of garlic might help. Weaker monsters will avoid you. I don't think this would work for us because every monster is, like, stronger than us. Do I have crab cakes? I don't think so, no. We can check what Gus is selling today. Um, We'll buy, like... I'm gonna buy buy 20 life elixirs. It's probably overkill for this, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Should we build the island house? It might be worth our while to worth our while at this point to go to the way and build the island house, so we can uh, easily reset on Ginger Island. I just have to go. How many how many golden walnuts would I need for that? I need like I don't even know if I have the ability to get that many golden walnuts right now. Or at least it would take a while. You don't get XP from breaking normal rocks outside the farm, right? On the on the volcano specifically, you do get XP for every rock. I remember that specifically. Yeah, we need 20 golden walnuts in order to in order to do that. Alright. Um, let's get our inventory set up. We're not gonna go today. I don't know if I'm willing to go. I don't know if I'm willing to do the island uh Island Farmhouse. We'll see how this grind goes. If it goes, like, terribly, then, uh, then we'll consider the Island Farmhouse, but for now, I'm, I'm willing to at least see how it goes. All right, so we're not gonna need, like, any of this. Well, I do need the watering can. I do need the watering can. Chair? Chair can't be placed in, in the volcano. I'm, like, 99% confident of that. We could bring a chair just to try. 
just for experimentation's sake. We'll bring an orange office stool. Okay. Lucky star shards. Got our watering can. We got our the best weapon that we have access to right now. Bring speed food. Yep. All right, speed food. So we got luck food. We got farming buff. We got speed in the form of pepper poppers, but it's also that's also a farming buff. Don't we have super meals? Yeah, we got super meals, which is higher max energy. Okay, so we got that. Uh, oh, pumpkin soup is defense. We can't do both a super meal and pumpkin soup. I could do triple shot and pumpkin soup. Is that? Do you, do you think that's the best option? I feel like this defense buff is actually kind of clutch if we can pull it off. You've literally run through the entire Volcano Dungeon on level 0 combat with 50 salads and made it to the summit first try. I hope we'll get so lucky, but I'm not taking any chances. Pumpkin soup, you think, is worth it? I think, I th I think you're right. I think the pumpkin soup for the defense buff. Triple shot for the speed. Um, space boots, which is the best boots that we have right now. How do we feel about this inventory, chat? How how are we feeling about this? And you know what I can you know what I can do? Farm warp totem. We can make it out of there just fine once we get it. I feel like that could that could come in clutch too, right? We could try and make it to the summit if uh, if the opportunity presents itself, but if it doesn't, I think having this warp totem is is a good idea. Need a hoe and slingshot for the golden walnuts. We're not going golden walnut grinding, at least not right now. But uh, if if things go south here real quick, then we'll figure that one out. Want to need more than one espresso? I don't think so, but I'll bring I'll bring a second one just in case. Pumpkin soup I know should last quite a while. All right. I'm feeling okay about this. Do I have more warp totems? I do have more farm warp totems. We don't need to bring any more, because we only need one to get out of there, but we do have extras for, for future. Alright. I think we're good. Is there anything else I need to do today before I commit to a ginger island thing? Let me go. Let's go just check on our crops. We, we got the ancient fruit. It is technically debris day, but we can always put debris day off by like a day or two if we if we need to. Which I think I'm going to because I have, I've got my inventory set up and I don't feel necessarily like going and getting the tools I might need to do Debris Day. Yeah, we'll sleep to lock it in so that we have this inventory set up just good to go for tomorrow. Just tested and chairs cannot be placed in the volcano, unfortunately. I was pretty confident of that fact. Um, for everyone's peace of mind, I'll still bring the stool just so we can see it all in real time. But thank you for testing that. I appreciate it. I can always just like delete the uh, delete the stool if need be. All right, how much how much hay do we got in here? Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me straight up there. Okay, I can I can just like restock it. I know it's coming. It's starting to get a little low now, probably. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Unless unless chat, do we want to plant eggplants? <laughs> Do we want to become a true eggplant farmer? We have we can actually s ship eggplants now. <laughs> that would be so stupid, but I kind of love it. I kind of want to I kind of want Well, we're not going to we won't commit to like a whole big eggplant farm. I have so many animals. I want to ship some eggplants. It's the first, like, sustainable shipping option that I have. I kind of wanted to do it. We'll just do, like, a little eggplant patch right in front of the... Right in front of the Junimo hut there. I won't go crazy with it. We'll just... We'll just put some eggplants down. It'll be fine. Plant one. <laughs> that one plant does not a patch make. How many eggplant... I have one eggplant seed. I'm gonna need my hoe. And you know what? We could bring some, uh... Hold on. Put the, put the orange stool down for a second. I'll bring some quality retaining soil. Just to future-proof a little bit here. Giving chat the illusion of choice. 
Yeah, basically. I want I want to be an eggplant farmer. If I've got the opportunity, like I said, I want to make every single one of these goals count. Ship a bone fragment is kind of sitting there, like, doing nothing right now, but eventually we'll be able to ship more bone fragments. Don't you worry about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten eggplants is what we're going to plant. Little eggplant patch right here. Do it here as well, why not? And while it's true that I can sell like any crop or anything I want to Pierre at this point, being able to ship them directly from my farm, it just makes eggplants that much more powerful. Welcome on in, Frog's Legs. We are we are several new goals deep now. Several new goals deep. We could uh I won't, I won't take the time to pin the goal right now. We got the goal on the upper left-hand corner anyway, so I'm not super concerned about it. Alright, put this away. Go buy nine eggplant seeds. Something that no one in Stardew Valley history has ever done before. Buy nine eggplant seeds, exactly. And then uh, set things up and we'll be good to go tomorrow. Yeah, we had ship a bone fragment and ship an eggplant, and now we're on ship a magma cap. All right, five, nine eggplant seeds and a dream. I dream of fruitful eggplants. Chad, is an eggplant a fruit or is it a vegetable? I feel like it's classified as a vegetable, at least in the game. But my heart of hearts says that it's a fruit. It's a crop. We can't, I, mean, I mean, you got me there. <laughs> you got me there. It is, in fact, a crop. It seems so fruit-like, though. Like, if you looked at an eggplant and had no other context, you'd never seen an eggplant before, I feel like you would probably say, that's a, that's a cool-looking purple fruit. But I guess culinarily, it's used as a vegetable more than, more than it would be a fruit. Is it a berry? I feel like it might be a berry, to be honest with you. Probably don't want to get into that discussion more than we have to, but <laughs> it feels kind of berry-like. Feels very berry-like. All right, fill up the watering can. I think we are all set for our trip to Ginger Island tomorrow. Let's do it. Back to Ginger Island one more time. For the second time, but not for the last time. Go take care of business, shall we? Iota, take me away. I'll go water my crops, and then I will, um... I'll head over to Willy's. We'll be back for that supply crate in the future. Don't worry about it. I just don't want to clog up the inventory right now. Retaining soil, doing some decent work. It'll be nice if we can actually get, like, the deluxe retaining soil. That'll be huge. I love I love how well Iota camouflages in the autumn grass there. I could barely see her if not for the the beautiful party hat above her head. <laughs> that was so cute. Nightshade family edible fruit according to Wikipedia. An eggplant is part of the nightshade family? That's so like that's so cool. <laughs> Why is that so awesome? We do not have any island warp totems, unfortunately. We never haven't gotten a chance to get any of those. Maybe you can buy them from the island trader. I don't know. We'd have to unlock the island trader first and foremost, but it's not that big of a deal either way. Nightshade includes tomatoes as well. No wonder they taste so bad. I'm not that partial to eggplant either, to be honest with you, so maybe I just don't like nightshade. Chat, what does nightshade taste like? Does it taste like just like death? Tomato hater? Yeah, tomato's like the worst of all consumable foods. Tastes like poison? That's not a taste, that's a that's an effect.
deadly nightshade tastes like death. Why am I not surprised? Alright. I gotta shut down the banter in the discussion right now, though, because it's, uh, it's volcano time. I've never been more intimidated by this cavernous opening than I am right now. Holy moly. Alright. Take a deep breath. Let's get in it. I'll... We're gonna... Let me let me water my way. Okay. Oh, you're not gonna attack me. You're you're fine. You're just leading me in here. Okay. Let's get to the entrance. Let's get. To, okay. I'm 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 feeling I'm feeling threatened already. I'm feeling threatened. Drink my triple shot. And just dodge. Just dodge. It's all you can do. Just dodge. Get the keep the watering can ready. It's gonna be your best friend. All right. Stool. Furniture can't be placed here. All right. It's so eerily quiet. Oh no, I hear, I hear them coming. Oh, it's a button. It's the only button. Okay, that was a nice, that was a very nice clean floor. One floor down. One floor down. We just gotta make it to floor five. Floor five, and we're home free. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I don't, I don't care about anything else right now. All else be damned, unless we see a cool chest or something. All right, this is no problem. 15 damage. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. The space boots are kind of doing kind of doing the trick here. All right, back up. We got this. We can we can do this. You're not catching me. You're not catching me. 8. All right, you you grazed me. You grazed me. I'll take it. I'll take my licks. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. All right, we can do this. I can do this. Just just back off. I want to stay away from the slimes as much as possible. Getting slimed around here is is it is a death blow for sure. Angwin cap? Hardwood! <laughs> Hardwood kind of huge, though. Drink the life elixir. Alright, we did get slimed. It's fine. We're, we made it out. Just, 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 just dodge. Just dodge. Just dodge. It's all you gotta do. You're fine. You're safe. You're good. We made it. Alright. Whew! I have one golden walnut. I cannot do that, my friend. I'm sorry to tell you this. Hello? This mountain was the home of my ancestors. Now we live on in the ruins of their great civilization. Hello, homie. Welcome, homie. <laughs> we can buy super meals here. Ooh, that's a that's a permanent, like... Well, is super meal, is this always for sale here? Is this always for sale? That was amazing. Thank you. Now, how far can we take this is the real question. All right. Um... Cinder Clown shoes would be very nice, but I don't think we're getting 100 Cinder Shards anytime soon. That said, do you have the Magma Cap of my dreams? You do. You do. You got me a gold star quality Magma Cap. That's all we're here for. All right. Super Meal Bow and Root Platter. Okay. Buy the recipes, because why not? That's probably a good point, honestly. Might as well take the recipes while we're here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm I'm feeling the adrenaline rush, chat. We've got the farm warp totem if we need to get out of here and uh in like lickety split. But let's get let's just keep on going. Take this to its natural conclusion. What do you mean no go home? We're so close, chat. We're so close. Look how close we are. We're at floor seven already. We can make this. We can make this. Am I getting greedy? Chat. Chat, thumbs up if you think this is greedy. Thumbs down if this is a good idea. Yeah, this is fine. I just have to... I'm going to go across this way. We'll take the long way just to avoid tangoing with that dude. Can't it be both? Both greedy and a good idea? Ooh, I should have refilled my watering can probably. <laughs> uh, Okay, this is not going so hot here. Ironic, because Volcano... Okay, can't go that way. Just dodge him. It's fine. You're, you're good. You're good. We're safe. It's fine. It's all going according to plan, chat. It's all going exactly according to plan. Just go around the long way here. We're good. We're safe. We're fine. Maybe the volcano's not that scary after all. Maybe it's a little scary. Okay, can I get through here? Zoop. We gotta save the water. Every little bit of water is precious right now. 
I don't want to have to run all that way back for, for more water at the at level 5 there if I can avoid it. Where is the exit, dude? There it is. Okay, we got it. This better not be a button floor, could you imagine? Alright, floor 9. The scariest of all floors. Where's my button? Where's the button? I know it's one of these. Alright, perfect. Scoot on out of here. Excuse me? Oh boy. Okay, this is this could be somewhat problematic. I <laughs> I'm a little concerned about the water situation. Uh that is a legendary rare chest over there. Alright, you get back over here. We're, we're, we're juking you. We're, we're bringing you back down here. I'm not messing. I'm not messing around. I'm not messing around, okay? Alright, you get over here. Bring you down here as well. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Alright. See ya, punk. No, no. Oh, no. What have I done? Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie, chat. A little scared. We'll come back. We'll come back for the chest. I think we can do... I think we can come back because I can make it back up through the... Uh... Ooh, a diamond! I can make it back up through Summit, summit Entrance now. Alright. We done did it. Prismatic Shard waiting for us right there, but that can hold off for... Actually, you know what? Do this. Grab a Golden Walnut. Grab another Golden Walnut. Yes, it's just that easy. It's just that easy, chat. I was, I'm not going to lie, mildly concerned. Mildly concerned, but I think our precautions were all in order, and I think we were just, I think we were just too good for the volcano. I think the volcano wasn't ready for Beatrix, but Beatrix was very ready for us. Or very, very ready for the volcano, I should say. All right. It's okay. I can wait. I can wait. Okay. Clear. Just make a path right there. Now bring, head back over here. One of these buttons. That button up there. That's the one for the. That's the one for the chest, right? Get it. Perfect espionage. We were in and out with, before they even knew what hit them. Golden Walnut and a Dragon Tooth Shiv! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? Haha, <laughs> yes! Oh, it's my favorite weapon, chat! Yo, no way! That's so good! <laughs> That's so good! Alright, alright, we're, we're getting the heck out of Dodge here. I will, let's go grab the Prismatic Shard. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go grab the prismatic shard and be on our way here. The greed pays off. Oh, baby. Prismatic me, baby. All right. Get me the heck out of here, please. That was perfect. That was so perfect. Little chest by the door. Was there a little chest by the door? Or do you, is it like one of the metal crates, you mean? It's fine. I'm not concerned. Golden Walnuts are... there. There's two instances where Golden Walnuts are a goal. There's to enter the Walnut Room, and then there's collecting everything after you've entered the Walnut Room. But you can collect Golden Walnuts up until, like, that point. As long as you don't collect them all, you're good to go. In my opinion. It's a bit It's a bit wonky, but it works. I feel like it makes, makes it for a more fun challenge. Alright. B-E-A... Beautiful. B-E-A tricks. Prismatic Shard, you can hide in there. Diamond as well. Dragon Tooth Shiv, it's... it's. I couldn't have asked for a better thing, honestly. The, the Dwarf Dagger does hold a bit more sentimentality for me, personally. But, the Dragon Tooth Shiv is undeniably the better weapon. And you know what? It has its own sentimentality associated with it as well. Alright, Life Elixirs can go in there. Um... Just sort everything out. I want to make just want to make sure all my ducks are in a row here. 
All right, perfect. And last, but certainly not least, the actual goal at hand. Are you guys ready? You guys ready for this one? Ship a magma cap? This is going to be worth quite a bit, actually, as well, right? Holy moly. Get some mushroom emojis in chat. Mushroom emojis for, this, for the completion of yet another goal. What is that? Goal number, goal number eight? Goal number nine? I'm losing track, baby! <laughs> I'm losing freaking track. All right. Lock that in. Goals completed has doubled since last stream. <laughs> 600 gold for a gold quality magma cap. I'll take it. All right. Look at our collection. A single eggplant <laughs> and a magma cap and a bone fragment. What what a what a weird save file we're currently living in. Fractured farm is just it's just quirky like that. What can I say? All right. Well, let me bring you on into the uh to the randomizer now. Run it back. Run it back, my friends. One second, one second. Okay. Um, set it up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. Perfect. How much gold is the complete shipping collection? Probably not that much, to be honest with you, if you just sell, like, one of everything. Either way. Goal number eight. Officially locked and loaded. Ship a magma cap. Didn't go so bad. Nice little fun side adventure, honestly. Very fun side adventure. 1.4 the way percent... 1.4% of the way to perfection. We only keep going up from here. All right. Come on. We're on a roll, baby. I'm, I'm feeling the dopamine rush now from clicking this generate goal button. No longer am I afraid of this thing. Now I am excited. I'm excited to click it one more time. I want to die. <laughs> what is this? Huh? Craft a farm computer. Hold on a minute. This is... It's, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we did some preparation for this. I think we have a dwarf gadget saved. We have a dwarf ga gadget saved. Um, Give me a second here. <laughs> give me... Oh, boy. All right. It's not hard. It is it is RNG dependent, though. It's, it's I think you're right. It's not going to be that bad, maybe, but it is kind of RNG dependent. But XP. Yeah, XP is... Hold on a minute. That might be... Don't we have to catch fish for that? Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at... Uh, at what kind of what kind of noise this is. It's wiki time, baby. Farm computer. Farm computer. I was I was getting cocky. I'm not gonna lie. I was getting a little cocky, a little too big for my britches. All right. The farm computer is a piece of craftable equipment that can be interacted with to display information about the farm. The player receives the recipe after completing either biome balance or aquatic overpopulation special orders for Demetrius. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Biome balance or aquatic overpopulation. Both of these right here. This one involves catching 10 of the following, depending on the season. It could be either a... It could be any of these. Red mullet is the only one that we'd be allowed to catch. Or catch 20 of river, ocean, or lake fish. Which would have to be red mullet or blue discus, I guess depending on what which one we would get. Do trash fish count? No, fish from the trash do not count for this because you have to catch them. This recipe should be locked under fishing levels. I don't think I thought this one through. I think you might be right. I think I think this should be locked behind fishing levels. Because I think I, I locked this behind catching, like, a valid fish for these quests. But as far as, like, fishing level goes, I didn't I didn't think about it. 
But you know what? Let's hold. Let's put it up to a poll here. Let's put it up to a poll. I feel like I know the way this is going to go. Is this a reroll? This one's impossible without leveling up. This might be the one and only situation where a reroll is warranted. I'm not I'm not saying that it's, you know, like this is this is possible to do. It it would be annoying and we would take the we would have to take the levels. I feel I feel like this is this is a uh, situation where it's less about the actual grind involved in doing this and more about the fact that I didn't prepare the prerequisites of the randomizer appropriately for this to be a, f a reasonable goal to do right now. I think this is more... This, this isn't about like, you know, oh, it's too hard of a grind. This is about like, this doesn't make sense to do right now. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Is there anything we can do with fish ponds? Fish ponds wouldn't work for this, I'm pretty sure, because it doesn't count as a uh, as catching the fish. PJR kind of telling me. Ninety three percent of chat says to reroll this. It's it's gonna put a bit of a smear on the challenge in the future, maybe. But I do think that this is this is a. I think this is the only acceptable situation to re-roll. And then I change... I should change the prerequisites for this. You know what? Why don't we do that right now? Why don't we do this? Hold on a second. End the poll. Um, bring it back over here for the for a second. Yeah, randomizer needs to be updated on this one. I think this is a, a prerequisite that just needs to be fixed more than anything. Okay, let me let me bring you guys in here. Testing the randomizer. Yeah, this is it's, we're just beta testing the randomizer is all this is. All right. So this is let me pop on in here. Can you guys see this okay? This list of goals. Let's go down. Let's find where it is. Craft a farm computer is somewhere in here. Craft a farm computer. All right. So this, this here, catch a valid fish. This accounts for the quest's, like, requirements, so that you can, like, you would have a valid fish to catch in theory. But that's all it does. I didn't even think about the fishing levels that would be involved in this. So it's probably, I, but here's the thing. Like, what prerequisite do we set for this? Like what's do I do I set this to like fishing ten because then then that's the only way we like guarantee that we don't level something up or or what what do we do? I guess I could I'd have to do the math on that probably to like figure out what a what a reasonable goal for what a reasonable pre reasonable prerequisite for this would be. Fishing ten. I think fishing, I think, like, we pro you probably could do it at a lower fishing level, but I think, honestly, fishing 10 seems right to me because it seems like the least arbitrary option because at that point, you, you have the freedom to catch the fish that you need. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think fish, I think fishing 10 is honestly a fair, a fair stopping point. I would, I would go either fishing 5 or fishing 10, probably. Check the highest fish XP multiple and then multiply it by ten. I think I think for my brain is just telling me on this one, fishing ten makes the most sense. As far as like leeway for the challenge and having it make you know like consistent internal sense, I think that's uh, that's reasonable. Yeah, fishing ten sounds sounds right to me. All right, so um, so this is gonna be catch a valid fish. And we'll do fishing 10 as well. We'll put that at the front there. Fishing 10 and catch a valid fish. Live update. I'll change this in the default version of the randomizer as well. If I if I decide to reconsider, then uh, then we'll go from there. But fishing 10, it seems seems fine to me. Alright. Well, what the heck my 
my OBS just like glitched out like crazy. I don't know what is what happened over there, but all right, we're fine. It could be impossible at any level lower than 10, depending on how many free previous fishing goals. Yeah, it's fishing is such a wonky thing in this in the randomizer. It's I don't love it. I don't love that, especially because you could we could be if we get like another fishing goal here, we could be forced to level up in fishing, but there's not a clean way around it as far as I can tell. If you if you happen to know of one, then uh by all means. Are there other quest board items I need to update also? No, this one always stuck out of my mind as like the one that's that's a little iffy. And the fact that we just happened to roll it this early is uh, is testament to the fact that I probably should have thought about this more. But either way, that is our one and only re-roll, chat. This, this is going to be our one and only re-roll. And I think we can all accept it. Update my goals. Click this if you change anything on the list of goals page. I don't think... I don't think changing the prerequisite will matter too much here, but we'll uh, we'll update it anyway. Just to be on the safe side. Hopefully nobody else got that when you when it would be painful to do in the randomizer. Hopefully not. Yeah, I haven't heard any horror stories about crafting a farm computer, but now we know and I'll we'll plan for that eventuality. Runs invalid 150 hours in. <laughs> if you want to see it that way, by all means. But I am I feel comfortable with this situation. Like I said, this is the only situation where I think that a reroll is, is comfortable. Everyone gets one, chat. Everyone gets one, and this one is just, you know, this is the one that feels right to me. Either way, what, however you feel about it, whether you whether you think it's right or not, we have a new goal to roll, and, and we can all get excited about that, I think. Let's go ahead and, uh, uh, let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Three, two, one, show me something. I mean, I, for, for re-rolling, give me whatever penance you, you tell me I deserve, all right? Give me whatever penance you think is fair here. That seems about right. That seems, that seems like a reasonable, <laughs> like a reasonable punishment. Having to reset to catch a midnight carp? Because if I have to reset, I have to wait till like 10 p.m. every single day. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I'll take this over the farm computer, that's for sure. We did just get into fall as well. Yeah, midnight carp is a fall fish, right? So... Still gotta go to Ginger Island. It is available on Ginger Island, but it's not exclusive to Ginger Island. That said, let's ha let's have a look here at uh, like specifically like what the best place to catch it might look like, you know. Wait till a festival day? Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. That said, I don't want it to have to wait until like the middle of uh, the middle of fall in order to catch it. I'd rather not waste too many days. Does this force a level up? Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. All right, let me full screen that. Midnight Carp. Midnight Carp, fishing XP, we would get 21 fishing XP for the base. So I don't think that forces that forces a fishing level. I'm pretty sure we're somewhere in like the 50 to 60 range as far as fishing XP goes. We'll, we'll see when we get there. Difficulty is not so bad. 55 and mixed. Mixed is kind of, kind of, kind of spooky though. It's available in the mountain lake as well as in the Forest Pond and Ginger Island North and West. But my question is, where where are we most likely to get this? Like, what's the best place to fish for this thing? I want to say it might be Ginger Island because, let's see, Island North. Yeah, like, see, like, if we fish an island, either Island North or Island West... And we fish at 10 p.m. The only other option is a blue discus or the midnight carp or trash. <laughs> Although, yeah, uh, trash is more likely on Ginger Island probably, right? Trash is more likely on Ginger Island. So that would be a bit of a bummer to wait till 10 p.m. only to catch, like, trash or something. Um, Mountain Lake. Let's see. So midnight carp. If we were to catch it here... We have a chance for green algae, chub, carp, or bullhead as well. Okay, so there's there's a lot more options there as far as like fish that could 
be masquerading as a Midnight Carp. And we could always get the Green Algae. And Walleye on a rainy day. What about the Forest Pond? Forest Pond. Uh, right up here. Fishing. Midnight Carp. We'd have access to Chub, Green Algae, Smallmouth Bass, and Bream. So it's really not much better than the Mountain Lake, to be honest with you. I could cancel fish I know aren't Midnight Carp. That's true. I'd have to know the pattern pretty well. Midnight Carp is difficulty 55 mixed. You can easily tell the difference between a Chub and a Midnight Carp. Can I easily tell the difference between a Bream and a Smallmouth Bass and a Midnight Carp? Look at Pond. Look at Pond. Oh, you're right. Look at Pond. Pond is, uh, you're right, because it says Pond right here and here. So it's only Smallmouth Bass, Green Algae. Oh, and there's also both. Yeah, smallmouth, it's, it's, it's smallmouth Bass, Green Algae, and Midnight Carp. The Forest Pond might be might be the one. As long as we don't go on a rainy day so we can avoid the walleye, then we should be okay, right? Forest Pond sounds all right. You never caught much but trash from the pond. I think the pond, if we if we get into a good fishing zone, which we can via that dock in the middle, I think that's that might be our best bet. If I go on a festival, it's not going to rain anyway. I don't think I want to go on a festival. I think I, I think at least at first tier, we'll just tr we'll just try and wait out the day, and uh, see how it goes. If I end up catching trash, maybe I'll change my tune. But because <laughs> what's the what's the next closest festival? It would be the Stardew Valley Fair, right? Which is on like the sixteenth. That's a little ways away. Although we could get there pretty quickly just by sleeping. Smallmouth bath smallmouth bass is twenty-eight mixed. Let's just let's just let's just play around with it and see what feels right here. Alright. I'm I'm feeling okay with that. I don't want to waste like a bunch of days in fall. Who knows what we might need those days for with the future of the challenge here, but uh yeah, I think we'll, I think I'm willing to wait until until 10 p.m. Probably splitting hairs. That's fair. Yeah, let's see goals. Current goal is not craft a farm computer. <laughs> it is catch a midnight carp. And this is goal number nine out of 565. Nine goals. Chat. We're two goals away from double digit goal completion. Can you believe that? I know I certainly can't. Yeah, we already got the magma cap, believe it or not. Um I don't think I have a little goal widget for 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 a midnight carp yet. But if you give me a second, I could probably put one together. Let me see here. It it honestly should not take that long. And I feel like we might be at this one for long enough that this feels kind of warranted. Let me go ahead and open this. Doo, doo, doo. Let me open. Just enjoy the fun vibes with Chloe as she's fishing right now. Midnight Carp. Open that up. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Then... Copy this. Is it going to be the right size? No, we want to make that a little bigger, I think. Control, resize, 125%. Copy that over. Working my little Photoshop magic. How does he do it? Okay. Then we make a new layer. Text. Size 22. Stardew Valley item font. Catch. Uh, midnight carp. It's a little too big for the thing, so we just go catch mid mad night carp. Nope, that's not it. Midnight carp. Perfect. Then I will go ahead and center this. Uh, 
Beautiful. All right. Let me save that. Save that here. Midnight. Carp. Easy peasy. All right. Now I should be able to... I bring you guys back here. Doo, doo, doo. Let me change this one on you. Alright, chat. Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. Cool. Alright. Catch a midnight carp. Done. Ready to go. Longest part of this is waiting until 10 p.m. I got I got time. We can wait it out. I'm not I'm not fretting it too much at all. What's a fried browser-based treat? Is it a cookie? Mozilla sticks? I was going to say a cookie is definitely not fried. It's baked, so you got me there. <laughs> all right. Mad Night Carp. Let's go. Let's go get ourselves a Mad Night Carp. What do you guys say? We just got to wait until 10 p.m. That's not so bad. We can we can wait out until 10 p.m. Let me grab my rod here. Boop, boop, boop. How much XP do we have? So we're gonna so if we catch the base quality midnight carp, which we realistically should, we would get up to 74 fishing XP. I need to do something else for 11 minutes. Well, I gotta go water my crops, and then we'll we'll go from there. It will be mildly upsetting if we can, if we if we just hook trash immediately after uh, after waiting for like 11 minutes or whatever for the reset or for the fish, but it's the it's the cost of doing business, I'm afraid. At least as far as I'm concerned. All right, now what do we do? I guess we you know we haven't done debris day, so we can go ahead and clear whatever debris we can get out of here. We skipped debris day to do. A little bit of magma capping. No cap magma cap. Could always go look for that aquamarine. You're not wrong. Although if I hit the uh, if I hit the dust sprite lottery, then I would be a little upset about that as well. So, but like, what else could I realistically do? Chat. Where did Iota go? I, I got off of her, and I don't know where she is anymore. There she is. <laughs> I literally just have to look for the hat. That's <laughs> so good. Oh, that's so good. Hold on, I gotta change my thing over here, too. Alright. Pre-chop the trees near the farm cave. Good call. That is another little, uh, little chore we can take care of. That'd be these four trees here, and we can also take care of this sapling right now. I could walk in circles and stare at a wall. Now you're talking. Alright. So I can definitely get these four trees here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna go eight, honestly, because I feel like I might have accidentally hit one of these trees before. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. It's important to give your horse a bright hat in autumn. Apparently, I never knew the importance of such things. So I so seldom even have a horse. Exclamation point horse. All right, anything down the middle of our farm here? I have the utmost confidence, by the way. We're gonna get to 10 p.m. We're gonna we're gonna cast out our line, and that midnight carp's just gonna be ready and waiting for us. I don't think this is gonna take any resets at all. I'm 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 putting it out there right now. I think we're I think we're totally safe from resets. Gonna need that horse flute. That's its own goal eventually. <laughs> Yeah, we're all about that optimism. Optimism, baby. What does Krobus have for sale on Wednesdays? We can go find that out together.
I want to say Wednesdays is like... A Wednesday is fish day. He has fish for sale today. I remember that now. That's, lo that's locked into my brain from, from way back when. But what kind of fish is the real question. I'm also curious as to, like, whether with that farm computer one, would we have even gotten the the quest to do it today? Or would we have had to, like, wait? We, because that's the other thing, is you have to, like, reset and wait for the... Wait for the goal to be just right. I think he catches the fish himself. Of course, where else would he get them from? Buy a bullhead? He must have caught that himself. I will buy these recipes just because they're here. And I'm thinking about it. And I'm putting it out in the universe that I'm not going to reset this day. I'm going to do all these fun little errands, get to 10 p.m., and then uh, <laughs> and go from there. That said, if I do have to reset even once, I do I do think it's probably warranted to, to do this on a festival day instead. Realizing now just how long and how much how much how long it's gonna be for a reset and how much time there is to fill in between uh in between resets. Definitely, but we'll take one crack at it at least. very first playthrough you were bad at fishing Krobus was your best friend you only had to catch a carp to finish the community center Krobus is a legend honestly when it comes to the fish he can cover so many different bases with the uh, with the fish that he sells I haven't missed the first try yet Jesse we're still on our first day of midnight carp hunting Ooh, there's the aquamarine I've been looking for. <laughs> I was gonna say we can go. Uh, we we could go looking for an aquamarine in the mines today. Who needs the mines when you got garbage cans? Heck yeah. All right, well, don't let me forget that. If we do end up having to reset the day, let me. I'll, I'll at least go and check that garbage can, and uh, and make sure to have that covered. Thanks, Clint. Clint, the real MVP on that one. We'll have to put that in the crystallarium. I think that's uh I think I should swap out the jades for the aquamarine. Both because I need a uh, I need extra an extra one to donate and then we can get uh our collection started for the desert trader. Maybe we should do the carp tomorrow. <laughs> What, do you think we've committed too much to this day already? Nah, we're good. We're, we're, we're gonna get the carp today, and we're gonna be happy about it. Oh, I'm using a, a hoe to try and chop up that wood. Not a good look. Things are moving so fast. I know, after so long spent on those first few goals, it feels good to to finally have a little bit of momentum going. We've completed how many goals this stream so far? I don't even know. I've, I've lost track. I've lost track. I should be... You know what I should be doing is I should write down the goals in order. That way I don't, like, forget them. Because I, I remember which goals we've done. But I don't remember uh, necessarily... I might not remember the order necessarily to put them in the complete spreadsheet. Um, so we did we did complete breakfast, which is already on the sheet. What was it after that? It was a ship of bone fragment, right? Bone fragment. Bone fragment was followed swiftly by eggplant. Then eggplant was followed by was eggplant it was immediately into magma cap right and uh, and now we're have we only so we've completed four goals today yeah four goals because complete breakfast bone fragment eggplant magma cap yep and now we are on midnight carp so let me write that one down no one mentioned the farm computer it's gonna be our little secret. No, no one mentioned the farm computer, okay? Can you guys keep a secret for me? Can you can you guys keep that secret? My dirty little secret? 
that I overlooked the the complicated nature of the farm computer and had to had to retool the randomizer live. What farm computer exactly? You got the you got the exact right idea. There was no farm computer. What am I talking about? Did I just imagine that? We just went right straight into Midnight Carp? Oh, thank goodness. Chat, you wouldn't believe the cra- I had the craziest dream. <laughs> I just had the craziest dream. <laughs> There's no farm computer in Bossing, say. Alright, let's take a quick little siesta at the spa. Why not? Beatrix has earned it, I think. Then we'll head home, we'll clear out our inventory, and by then it, will sh it should be pretty close to, to carp time. What the heck's a farm computer? Stupid idea. No one even uses a farm computer, let's be real. As as far as like farm machines in the game, I feel like I feel like the farm computer sees probably the least use out of anything. All right, nice and refreshed, very cozy. She's probably stinky and sweaty. She deserves this after that trip to the volcano, especially sweat and bullets, both from the heat and from the stress. I think uh, she more than deserves it, yeah. Alright. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. It's midnight carp hour approaches. So clear out this last little bit of debris that I can reach here. And... What the... Do you, do you guys see this man? Help! Help, there's a, there's a strange man stalking the back behind the spa? Linus, what are you doing? <laughs> He's so sus. I never, I've never seen him here, dude. That's, he's freaking me out. He's peeing? <laughs> what the heck was that about? That was so weird. I've seen him hang out in front of the spa, sure, plenty of times, but behind the spa? It was a first time for everything, I suppose. It's kind of creepy, yeah. That's, that's, that's definitely one way to put it. I don't think there's any windows into the changing rooms, at least, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> Alright, um, anchovy goes in here with all the other fishies. I will take the. I'll put the. I'll deal with the aquamarine situation in a minute. But before that, let's head down to that forest pond, shall we? This music with Iota running is so awesome. It does make me feel like I'm out of the, the Wild West. Hey chat, why did the cowboy uh why did the cowboy get a wiener dog? Cause someone told him to get along, little doggy. Alright. Fantastic jokes aside, comedy genius aside, it's midnight carp time, baby. Alright. So we don't want to fish too far out because we don't want a high quality carp, but we don't want to fish too close because we don't want uh, we don't want trash either. So I think we split the difference right there. It's like one tile. I, I mean, all right. Well, <laughs> that's kind of awkward. I was trying I was trying to pull it out so I could fish further out, and then uh, that happened. So uh, rip, rip to a legend. Reset the day, baby. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Okay, bye. Oh, man. Well, that, that was a lot of progress to lose. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that one hurts. Alright. So, yeah, how about that festival day? How about that How about that festival day, chat? How about we, uh... How about we wait until the festival day? Like, uh... 
like like Karita said, and and make the resetting just a little more palatable. Rip Aquamarine. The Aquamarine should still be there though. If we go and uh, if we go and check Clinch Trash, we should still be able to get the Aquamarine because it's that's seeded per the day. Now I appreciate your genius. True geniuses are never appreciated in their time. It holds true, even in Stardew Valley here. For the farm computer, I could, or for fish, I could do something like if catch three or whatever number valid fish, then gain a fishing level, where the fish pond, where the fish won't show up until after one fishing level. I think I see what you're getting at. I think the problem with with like a uh, an approach like that is that fishing experience rates are so variable. Like you could catch like if you don't catch like a basic quality fish, and the, all the different fish have different XP values. It's like it's just a whole big miasma. And I think I think it's better to take the Occam's razor approach of just saying you know. If you happen to get unlucky, get all the f get a bunch of fishing goals in a row, without uh, gaining a fishing level in between at some at some point, or without uh, getting a goal a goal to gain a fishing level in between at some point, then you know what, just chalk that one up as bad luck. The farm computer thing I think is different in that case. That was not bad luck. That was bad programming on my part. But <laughs> maybe it's uh, you know, it's like magic and science. If there's sufficiently advanced mistakes. The difference between, you know, or if it's sufficiently advanced bad luck, this difference between that and a mistake is impossible to tell. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could be five fish for a carp, but two if you catch an octopus or something. Like, I think the only way to really guarantee it would be if the randomized rate were, were like calculated how much XP you should have based on what fishing goals you've completed, and then not give you a fishing goal if you're if you're if like giving you that fishing goal would force you to level up. I can look into it for sure. I can look into doing the math and making the randomizer just that little, giving it that little extra touch of complexity it needs. Maybe that's the final, the final thing to make the randomizer ideal is to just avoid, uh, avoid those fishing goals unless if they if they would force you to level up. So I'm I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about how the code would work, and I can probably get it to work without too much retooling of the randomizer. I think it would, I think it'd be okay. The farm computer got skipped, right? Yeah, the farm computer it was a it was a fault of the programming of the randomizer more than anything to give us to give us that one when it did. So uh, that's that's our one and only reroll. But but don't tell anybody. It's our it's our secret. It'll never be mentioned again after this stream. In fact, after this moment, it's never going to be mentioned again. You could always re-roll manually if the XP would force a level up. That is a possibility, but it's not one that I am partial to taking myself. I, th I feel like it's a it's a bit of a, a clumsy solution, whereas the randomizer should be able to account for that sort of eventuality. You didn't see it happen. Didn't see what happened. What are you What are you talking about, Wickedy? All we did we just rolled another goal, and we we have to catch a midnight carp now. It's no big deal. No big deal at all. All right. We got the aquamarine. We pre-chopped those trees. We watered our crops. Is there anything else I should do for the time being? I don't think so. 
I think, uh, well, I can, I guess I can go through and do a little bit more. I didn't, I, all the debris back up on the railroad is going to be, is going to be back, but I'm not going to go through the process of clearing that out right now. It's not super critical to what's going on here. Just quick little debris check for our own sake. And I think we're good. Midnight carp is a lie. Shows up to the party early. Yeah, they should rename it the 10 p.m. carp. <laughs> I mean, really, the, he could, you could call it the Twilight Carp, and honestly, it might be a better name. You know what I will do here, now that I have the time and the wherewithal to do this? Swap this out. I guess I didn't have to swap all of them out, but that's fine. Because I only have one Aquamarine right now anyway. Just don't accidentally overwrite the Aquamarine. Alright. And we'll get the Aquamarine going. The late night carp. There you go. I mean, that sounds like a, like a. That honestly sounds like a midnight, like a late night talk show. In the world of SpongeBob SquarePants. Sorry, old habits died hard. The after dinner carp. Even better. Today's special is rice pudding. All right, off to sleep. The bedtime carp. Speaking of bedtime. All right, so now we just wait until the Stardew Valley Fair to make our resets a little bit more reasonable so we can use the fair to do a nice big time skip. Am I allowed to just, like, leave the fair as soon as I enter? Like, can I just, like, step in and peace out immediately? Or do I have to do the whole Grange display thing? I don't think you have to, right? I think you can visit the fair and do, like, whatever you want and then just leave. Uh, yeah, retaining soils. Maintaining everything there, that's good. Yeah? Okay, perfect. I wasn't sure, because I think, like, the Egg Festival... Isn't the Egg Festival one where you can't leave until you've actually done the Egg Hunt? And there's probably other festivals that are, like, similar in that concept, but... If the fair isn't like that, then it will make it ideal for our circumstances. Dude, where'd my, where'd my blue discus go? Okay, he's just hiding in the corner there. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Light. Losing my blue discus. We did get the Aquamarine back. Case in point, right here. All right, um, take all of these. Eat. Oh, I didn't need to eat the second one there. That's fine though. Okay. Grab that. Do that. Perfect. I thought you thought I could. You could leave the egg festival. Maybe I'm just making stuff up. I could have sworn there's at least one festival where you have to like do something while you're there before you leave the festival but maybe that's not the case maybe it's never been the case and i'm just uh i'm just a silly old fool the flower dance i guess yeah the flower dance you're like roped in right like the whole area is just like roped off so you're just not allowed to leave no matter what what about the Festival of Ice? Can you leave that? I mean, there is an exit, but I don't know if it's uh, if it allows it. You shall not pass. Just anything that happens in the woods, maybe. I don't know. That's very precious, by the way. Very precious to see Iota and Pi bonding like that. You love to you love to see it. If only I could put a, a hat on our cat. The cat in the hat little pie in the pie and pie with a bow tie i don't know that'd be cute the fishing one you do have to fish well, as long as this one as long as the fair is not one of those festivals will be will be smooth sailing you know what? i should also get my bamboo pole out for the day of reckoning here the day of anglering Fairs on the 16th, so we only got 10 more days to go. 10 days in a dream. We just got to do a little more watering in that time. Although, I guess we'll be watering basically every day because the... Because the eggplants are regrowing, right? And so so is the uh, ancient fruit, obviously. But a little bit less watering thanks to the uh, advent of retaining soil. Ooh! Good harvest day for the from the Junimos here. 
Look, he's dancing. He's dancing. He's showering the eggplant with uh, with good vibes. Thank you, Junimos. Are these all watered? I honestly can't tell. It's it's okay. That one was not watered, and this one's not watered. All right, perfect. Everything else. For everything else, there's Junimos. It's been a minute since we've seen the pink Junimos actually out in the field, so that was kind of nice. One of the many benefits of eggplants. You know, you know what's also, you know what also is the benefit of eggplants? I just realized they harvested the eggplants. We can take the eggplants. And chat, you know what we can do? You know what we can do with these eggplants? We can ship these eggplants. Holy moly. I can use my shipping bin for crops? Say it ain't so. I don't have to wait for Pierre to open his doors <laughs> to sell, to make some money from these eggplants. I can sell all the eggplants I want. Underrated. Underrated money-making strategy is eggplant tech. Put them in the shipping bin, baby. Nothing but eggplants. Number shipped? That number is gonna climb. Holy eggplants. <laughs> It might not have been our first shipping goal, but it was. It is our most uh, prominent right now. That's for sure. How often do eggplants regrow? By the way, does anyone know that off uh, off the top of their head? All right, aquamarine farming is officially underway. Put their wheat flour away for, for a rainy day for potential future cooking prospects. Let's go do a little more watering. I love the dead silence on the on the on the eggplant question. Four or five days. Because no one actually farms eggplants in Stardew Valley. <laughs> like why would you realistically? Other than for like the like shipping and cooking. Those are about the only reasons you would ever ever farm eggplants. I don't think anyone goes into Stardew Valley. I mean, maybe, I guess, in the vastness of, of humanity and all the people who've played Stardew Valley, there's at least one person out there who has woken up and been like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to play Stardew Valley. I think my eggplants are ready. Do you think that thought has ever gone through someone's head? Do you think a single human being in all of recorded history has had that thought? I would hazard a guess it's probably yes. Ooh, nice rainy day as well. Thank you for that. Always a good help. It means the Junimos won't get out to harvest, but it does mean but it also means I don't have to go down to water. Yes for the meme. <laughs> Alright, it is uh it is debris day though. You know what? I'll I'll wait for debris day till tomorrow. Or, I mean, if tomorrow's raining, then just the next day. The next non-rainy day. Because if we're heading out anyway, then might as well make the most of it and clear debris all at the same time, right? Someone that, in real life, really likes eggplants. A distinct possibility. What should we do with this prismatic shard? <gasps> prismatic Junimos? I mean... I love our little pink Junimos, but we got we got to give the prismatic Junimos a little bit of time to shine, right? Pride Junimos. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. The only thing I was thinking about is do I need the Galaxy Sword right now? And then I got the Dragon Tooth Shiv, and I was like, Galaxy what? Galaxy what? Why is this one eggplant ready when none of the other ones are? Did I like miss watering or something at some point? <laughs> Either way. Can I leave both the Prismatic Shard and the Star Shards in there, and they'll, like, they'll oscillate between all the colors, including pink? I don't know how this works. <laughs> I've, I've never done Junimo tech like this before. Like, if I just leave them both, is that is that okay? Is that okay? I guess, you know what, there's only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out. Hopefully we'll be able to catch them outside tomorrow. Like they're that one girl from Dr. Phil. Catch them outside. How about that? Haven't done it with a shard and a gem, but it works with two gems. Yeah, it's, it, it'll, it'll be weird. I feel like, if I had to guess, I feel like the prismatic shard is going to overwrite the star shards entirely. But I guess we'll see. 
Go to sleep for the night. Yas. All right. Well, <laughs> we're not going to see him today. Rip. Don't forget to save some of those eggplants for cooking. I would never forget that. How, how many eggplants do I need for cooking? I know I need eggplant parmesan. That's the only eggplant dish I can think of, though. I do also have a stock... Uh, yeah, I don't think I shipped all the eggplants that were in my house, did I? Do you have a stockpile? Yeah, we've got seven eggplants there. We're good. You're right, the survival burger does need an eggplant. A little vegetarian burger. Alright, finally. The storm has stopped. Let's go see if we can spot some wild Junimos, shall we? Some wild, prideful Junimos in their natural habitat. Hello, Junimo friends. They're they're very <laughs> they're very rainbow. They're very rainbow. Do we is there any inkling of their uh, of their star shard nature? I don't think there is. I think it's literally just the prismatic shard. That said, maybe that's all it needs to be. It's kind of hard to see them. They're they're galvanting about in the tall grass, <laughs> but it's perfect. It's so good. We'll leave it alone for now, in honor of Pride Month especially. Why not? We can always uh, we can always pivot back later if we, if we decide we miss our, our lucky star-sharded Junimos. Thank you, my friends. Silver-quality eggplant? You're too kind. You guys are too kind. You know that? Okay. Yeah, some of these are hard to tell with the retaining soil, to be honest with you. Makes retaining soil a bit... Difficult to work with sometimes. I remember this now. It was pink for a while. Was it pink for a while? Did I just miss it? It's hard to tell in the in the miasma. They do. I mean, they go through pink. I do see that they do go through pink at some point, but I think that's just part of the prismatic process. Is there a Junmo up here? <laughs> Are you hiding up there, little buddy? I see someone hiding in there. Oh, he jumped. He jumped out of the grass. Yo, Hide and Seek with Junimos? Sounds like a great game, honestly. Sounds like a great way to pass the time. If we weren't waiting for a festival day, I could definitely play Hide and Seek with Junimos all day. And pass the time until 10pm just like that. Love the Junimos so much. They're like such a perfect little design for cute little forest friends. One of the Junimos must have gained a farming level. Ma imagine if that were a thing. What if there's like you could open up your Junimo hut and there's a little stat screen, one for each Junimo. You could name each Junimo. You could give them little like give each one of them a hat. There's so we've barely tapped the tapped the potential. We've barely even scratched the surface of. I, I can't talk right now. I'm trying to say something profound here. If my mouth could work, that would be great. We've barely scratched the surface of Junimo Hut potential. They are out harvesting something today. It must have been the ancient fruit, I guess. Or maybe there is one wayward eggplant. There is one wayward eggplant. Wayward eggplant, also a great band name. Now you're just running a colony sim. Maybe once I get my second Junimo hut and my third Junimo hut and my fourth Junimo hut and just it just, it just spirals outward and upward from there. Also, we did skip Debris Day, but you know what? That's fine. I'm too excited about the potential for Midnight Carp to worry about Debris Day right now. Sounds like we need a Junimo update. Someone get Concerned Ape on the phone? Little 1.6 action, just uh, just quality of life improvements to the Junimo huts. We'll use these aquamarines at some point here. When does the... Uh, is, is a cloth... Can you get cloth from the Desert Trader on any day, or is that a day-specific thing? I honestly don't remember. 
Because I know it's three Aquamarine for one Cloth. That is locked in the brain. I just don't know if it's every day that that's a possibility. Something tells me it's not, because I think the gem-based trades are are never permanent ones. Maybe. Well, I guess the Spicy Eel is. Spicy Eel is a permanent one. Wednesday? Okay. Next Wednesday, we'll hit up the Desert Trader, get some cloth, and then Emily will be like, OMG, you got cloth. My cloth senses were tingling. And she'll give us access to the, uh, to the sewing machine of our dreams. And who knows what we can make from there. So many cute outfits waiting to be had. You so badly want the recycling machine, but fishing level 9 is so far away. If only we had gone through with the, uh, the field research bundle. That's okay. It's okay. Recycling machine... Wait, isn't recycling machine? It's not fishing level nine. It's fishing level four, right? I was gonna say, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. There's no way that. We... Could you imagine the disappointment of getting to fishing level nine and be like, congratulations, now you can craft a recycling machine? <laughs> that would be so anticlimactic. What do you get there instead? I know you get seafoam pudding, but you probably get something else. Either way, seafoam pudding on its own is is plenty good enough for my money. Might want to trade the jade so we're ready as well. P pretty good idea, actually, yeah. We've got a large stockpile of jade. As long as I keep four for future duplication prospects, I'll I'll trade the rest today. Might as well take care of business there. Do a little, fa little bit of farm upkeep. Check in with our animals real quick. Actually, we'll check in at the, at the silo itself, maybe. Actually, no, I don't think I need to check into the silo itself because I still have some hay waiting to be put in here so I can just put in whatever I need to put in. 302. Will it take all of it? Place your bets now. Nope, almost. Very, very close, but still on top of it. Level 9 is seafoam pudding and a magnet. Raise your hand in chat if you use magnets consistently in Stardew Valley as bait. Because all they do, they, they just make it so that you get more treasure chests more often, right? They don't have any other effects, otherwise they're literally just like regular bait. I don't think I've ever used magnets while fishing. To be perfectly honest with you, it's, it seems like such a such a foreign esoteric concept to me. You've never used a magnet in 2,000 hours. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oops. Almost uh, almost skipped it on the jades. Two. All right. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. Let's go. They're way too expensive for what they're worth. It's like two iron bars per magnet, right? Or is it only one iron bar? I want to say it's two iron bars. And then do they work like bait where you go through like one per fish? Like, you catch a fish and it uses up one magnet? Or do they have, like, a durability thing like tackle? Something tells me it's, like, one per fish. Anyway, there's, like, 483 more staircases <laughs> for future Skull Cavern prospects. You like casino magnets? That's probably the better way to do it, honestly. If you're going to go with magnets, then, uh, invest in some casino profits. Sorry, I was trying to think. I, I stumbled over my words again there, but I was it was just because I was trying to think of how to tie in the Breaking Bad magnet scene and make a fun joke about it. But all I could picture was Jesse Pinkman just screaming, Yeah, baby! But he didn't say baby! Magnets! And it made me smile. One iron bar, Krobus on Wednesday for 200, or 1k from Willie's shop. Neither, none of those are great options. None of those are, the best one would be Krobus, I guess, but that's not a guarantee. That's just a possibility, right? Yeah, because it's part of the fish pool. I remember that now from the from the no level up challenge, the editing process of that. Because I edited like all the little fish that Krobus could sell on Wednesdays. I put them to a little like infographic on the screen, and one of them was a magnet. And I remember thinking that's weird. 
And that was about as far as that thought went. Yeah, Chi! Magnets! Oh, baby! What did we have the goal as the goal as after the magma cap? You're looking at it. You are looking at it, Maggie. Catch a midnight carp is our next goal. That. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Wait, no, there's one over there. There's one over there. The shades of brown are just so... They're too similar. They're too similar for my liking. All right, tomorrow is the day. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for peak efficient resetting strats? It's time to go catch a Midnight Carp. Do you think we need a Trout Soup? It might not be a bad idea, right? We still have some Trout Soup from our Blue Discus Escapades. Pretty salty. It's a 50, 55 difficulty fish. We'll go with a little Trout Soup. Why not? I'm certainly not willing to invest a Seafoam Pudding into this, but I'm not willing to... But I'm willing to definitely invest a little trout soup into it. Take the soup just in case. So now all we have to do is wait until 9 a.m. for our uh, for the fair to open, and that is a much more reasonable ask than waiting for 10 p.m. all on our own. You know? All right, we pre-chopped these, didn't we? Pretty sure. I don't. Maybe I. Forgot to do it again. Oh, oh, we only pre chops to eight, though. I remember that, so that's why that didn't work. All right, perfect. Good stuff. Cool beans. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Fire in the hole! Ba-boom. That was such an intense sound for four stumps. <laughs> I'm never ready for it. The thunderous crack of explosion on wood, of gunpowder on wood. Makes more of a boom than you would expect. It may be less of a boom than you would expect. I don't know. All right, put that away. Put that away. If you get shit milk or something, I'm going to lose it. We have yet to get any, like, obscenely easy goals. Like, you could say, like, ship and bone fragment or ship the uh, eggplant are, are were very easy because we already had those things. And, like, they were easy for us. But in, in principle, they're not the easiest. Like, you would have to, like, wait for the eggplant to grow and Junimo hut if you're going to avoid the experience and all that stuff. And the bone fragment is its own little, little nugget. I would say we have yet to encounter... Like, a pathetically easy goal. You, they do exist. They are out there. We have yet to see one. Little ship fiber, ship wood, ship stone. <laughs> All these options, yeah. You know, craft, like, a torch. Craft a craft a wood fence. Any, any crafting recipe that's just, like, wood or stone or something. I don't think I can take... Actually, I should, I should probably leave Iota back here, right? Because I'll be put back at my farm... At the start of the at this at the end of the fair, and then we'll have Iota ready to go, ready to tear on down to the uh, to the forest pond. All right. Wow, what a wonderful festival! Look at this cool place. Anyway, that was a great festival. I'm glad I spent. Uh, <laughs> Over 12 hours there, just, just standing at the entrance. Man, what a fantastic time, huh? What a party. I'm pooped. But you know what? I do have a little bit of energy left in me to go catch a Midnight Carp. Craft a friend was our first goal. We did have to do a lot of crafting for that friend. Or we had to be very crafty for that friend, maybe I should say. Alright. 
It's the witching hour. It's not really the witching hour. What's the witching hour, chat? Is it like 1 a.m. is the witching hour or something like that? That feels good. That's a good hit. Is this a midnight carp? Or is this a smallmouth bass? Because those are the only options. This feels more difficult than a smallmouth bass. This feels like a midnight carp to me. It's a, it's a mixed... The pattern is mixed, so it's going to be like all over the place. But they're both mixed. But this definitely feels harder than a smallmouth bass. Hey, baby! Only 21 experience. Base quality Midnight Carp is just that simple. Sometimes patience and persistence pay off dividends. Midnight Carp achieved. Look at that beautiful fishing collection. That is a nice trio of colors right there. That's like uh, that's like those rocket popsicles almost. Actually, no, the rocket doesn't have uh, purple in it, I guess. But <laughs> for some reason, that's where my brain went. Either way, goal complete. Purple fish. 11.10 p.m. Midnight carp. Mark it on your calendars. This is the first time you were here when I finished the goal. Not Psycho Paul. Welcome on in. Came at the perfect time for the midnight carp of our dreams. And we still got time. We still got time left in this stream, folks. I think we, uh, let's, let's keep on running. Let's keep on going with this momentum. I'm excited for a new goal. I'm not even going to go home or or sleep the day away yet or anything. Let's just see how this goes, shall we? Bring you on over to here. Ooh. Catch a midnight carp. Not the easiest goal, not the hardest goal. I'm just glad we were in fall. I guess fall and winter are both midnight carp season, but I digress. It, we, at least we were in a season where we needed it, or we, where we could get it. All right, finish it off. 1.6%. Chat, are you guys ready for goal number 10? This, Depending on how hard this is, how easy this is, we could see double-digit goals. This could be the double-digit goal of our dreams. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Three, two... One, show me what we got. Oh, baby! <laughs> it's all going according to plan! <laughs> it's our first skill level! We get to level up for the first time in human history! <laughs> I can't. I can't. We get a skill, chat. We get a skill. <laughs> level one, level one, level one. Oh my god. It only took 10 goals, 150 ish hours. We we're finally going to level up one of our skills. Let's freaking go. We have three whole fish we could do it with. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, uh, let me set this up. All right, perfect. Oh, and you know what? I, I have to go into Nightbot as well, change things up. Goal 10 out of 565 is to gain our very first fishing level. Gain a fishing level, let's do it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Fish pond? Is this the, is it finally time to build a fish pond, chat? Do you think that's uh is that the way we get our first fishing level or do we fish for trash or or what are our options? Is this might be the sign that it's time to build a fish pond. Don't even move from here to catch more midnight carp. We could just do it like right here right now. That is highly doable. Give me a hot second to swap this, though. All right. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we're not going to be risky, because we could catch trash or something. Well, I guess catching trash now wouldn't be the end of the world, because we need the XP either way. But if we catch algae, or if we catch a, uh, a smallmouth bass somehow by mistake, then we'd be regretting it. 
So let's just take the Midnight Carp, run it on home, put it in a fish tank where it rightfully belongs, and uh, probably look into a fish pond tomorrow, to be honest with you. Dawn Time, thank you for the $9 super chat for nine goals completed. One, one emoji for every goal. Is that one emoji for every goal? I don't know. It's it looks like it looks like a lot of emojis to me either way. So thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate the support and the generosity. Didn't have to do that. But we are nine goals deep. Lucky number ten, we finally get our first skill level. Wouldn't have had it any other way. Thank you, Iota, for your service. Yeah, either pond or trash is the way to go, I think, here. Like, catching Midnight Carp, Red Mullet, or Blue Discus doesn't seem like the, the way forward to me. And we have we have everything we need for a fish pond. It's just a matter of what we would put in that fish pond, I suppose. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the sardine out of here. And put it right back in, apparently. Now we're going to put in the, the Midnight Carp. There we go. Beautiful. B... E A beautiful. Yeah, we need to keep a midnight carp anyway at some point for uh to cook a seafoam pudding, but that's not gonna be for a while, I would imagine. That ain't gonna be for a hot second. Maybe even a cold second. The second will be cold by the time we get there. Alright. Let's go build a fish pond. I'm here for it. We need Five seaweed, one, two, three, four, five, five green algae, and some stone. It's like a hundred stone or something. We'll just bring a stack. It's fine. Why is there food in the garbage here, kiddo? <laughs> Your kid's getting up to some mischief there, Nico. A tepid second. A tepig second. All right. What fish should we put in the in the fish pond, though? I'm, I'm really asking. There are so many different possible options, and what are we looking for out of it? We're, we're looking for, like, row, realistically. Just like any row would do, but there's so many possible, like, fun things we could get out of it, depending on the fish that we pick. Discus? Ooh, blue discus fish pond. That's actually kind of a clutch suggestion, Wickedy. Because we could get a banana out of it in the future. I was thinking either, I mean, honestly, I didn't, the blue discus was not on my radar, but now it definitely is. So, blue discus is a good option. Super cucumber is not a bad option either. Just because it's, uh, it's, it's just a good one to have. It's like high, we get a purple pond, and we have chances for iridium and stuff. MX Math had the idea. Thank you, MX Math. Thank you very much. I could put this oyster in the fish pond. That's also a possible option. But I think blue discus. You know what? It's the first fish we caught. It just feels right. If nothing else, even if not for the even if not for the banana, blue discus fish pond definitely just feels right. It has a sense of uh, of closure to it. You know what I mean? Can I get Iota over to this farm exit over here? Can we do it? We can. Yay, there we go. <laughs> What's the possible quests from Blue Discus? That is another possible thing to consider. What, do we, what might we need to get for a Blue Discus fish pond? Let me wiki that. I'll wiki that. Blue Discus. Blue Discus could ask... For three tarot root or ten it's gonna ask for three tarot root. <laughs> uh that's a problem. That's a mild problem. We can grow tarot root. We just have to get we just have to get some tarot root. But tarot root won't grow until the summer, right? Because we can't grow it on Ginger Island because we we can't pick it ourselves. Yeah, we can only plant it in the summer. But we don't necessarily need to either, need to complete a quest either. Well, let me let me have a look here. Let me look back at the the what call it the wiki. Greenhouse, yes, but we can't put a Junimo hut in a greenhouse, and that's that's the crux of it. We need the Junimo to harvest them. Um, let me see here. 
let's see, if the population is 1 to 3, then the chance of getting a... I mean, we're only going to get row at that point. You don't have a chance for a banana or anything. But the chance of getting row at all would be um, 23 to 39%. Which is not high odds, but it, it would get us there. Super Cucumber Goals might be easier. Let's have a look. Super Cucumber. Super Cucumber could ask for three coral, one honey, one oyster, or one refi or three refined quartz. As long as they don't ask for the three coral, we would have that on lock, and that's 45 fishing experience, which would be more than enough for us to level up. Super Cucumber might be the way forward here. Plus purple. Plus purple. We could always swap out for uh, for blue discus or get another or get another fish pond for blue discus. I guess you know what? There's no reason we can't get two fish pond, right? We would need we would need room for fish for more fish ponds. What am I doing back here? Oh, I I, I know what I was gonna do, but I'll I'll do it later. We have enough material and money and everything for uh, for many many fish ponds. Yeah, we can always we can always finesse the quest like Wickedy says there, yeah. Just by like resetting the fish pond and waiting for another quest. That's definitely doable. Alright, hello? Thank you. Construct farm buildings, please. I would like one beautiful little fish pond, if you don't mind. Now where do we put the fish ponds is the is the next next question here. We can't really there's no really nowhere really to put them up near the house. There's just not enough room up here. Yeah, there's just like no way to fit it there. Probably the only realistic place we could put it would be like down here, near like the hardwood area. By the greenhouse, you think? We could move the greenhouse. Or we could, I guess. There's no. We could we could move the greenhouse like a little bit. Like, what if we move the greenhouse just, like, a few spaces to the side? This fiber is kind of annoying. Greenhouse seems open to access in terms of space. Yeah, the space below the house is pretty... pretty uh, maybe right there? Oh, wait! Chat! There's a perfect spot. <laughs> There's an absolutely perfect spot right there. Okay. Okay, I think that's a, it, it's a perfect fit. Let's go. All right, so that'll be our first fish pond. Our second fish pond will cross that bridge when we come to it. Do we, it's just how far down do we want to go here? We could go like right there. We could go there. I feel like this is a good spot to be able to have access around it. Maybe right there. Going to run into that so much. Send it. Typically, I like to have a sign on my fish ponds. I like to have a sign. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have that luxury unless uh, we can think of a way to get a sign without crafting one. But I, I don't know any ways personally, other than buying from like the traveling cart, maybe. But obviously, that's off the table. Left of the sprinkler field. We'll, we'll look into that one for our second fish pond. Isn't there one I can buy from Krob Krobus? Oh, does he have the sign of the vessel? Let's go buy some signs of the vessel. I think you're absolutely right. I th I've never thought of that. I always think of the sign of the vessel as not an actual sign. I always think of it as like, as like you know, a sign in the same way that uh, that ice cream is cream. Like no one calls ice cream cream. It's all it's ice cream, but it's I, I'm not making any sense. Buy the signs. By two signs. Looks like a fish on a stick. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. A decorative piece for your farm. What can I do to get you into a sign of the vessel today? It does work as a sign. I've seen it. I think I've seen it specifically in one of Wickedy's videos at some point. 
I don't know if it was like an actual like tip in the video or if I just like saw it and I was like, that looks weird. <laughs> but I, I distinctly remember seeing it in the video somewhere. Yeah, it only works with the fish pond. I don't think you can put like any other items on the sign of the vessel. It's only for fish ponds, which makes it even better, even more appropriate. All right, now we just got to wait a couple more days until we get our uh, fish pond, and then we'll go from there. I think we'll start with the super cucumber. I think that's a smart place to start, and then maybe we'll we'll try a little blue discus fish pond as well. It would make a wicked weapon rack. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Putting, like, your sword on that thing, that would be so cool. Ooh. Why doesn't it work like that? It's, it's a sign, concerned ape. If it's a sign in some contexts and not in others, it's too confusing. Why are you doing this to us? We're gonna fish trash in the meantime. No, I think we could probably just invest in fish, fish pond infrastructure and let that carry us to fishing level one. Cause fishing trash, it's, it's really just a means to an end. Like there's no tangible benefit really to fishing the trash. Whereas at least fish ponds, we can get some uh, some actual progress out of here. Why is Robin building a wooden base for the fish pond? I don't. I look. I'm not going to tell her how to do her job. She's built many more fish ponds than I have. Is all I know. All right, fish pond successfully constructed. Sign of the vessel goes right there. Let's go grab a super cucumber and make some magic happen. One super cucumber. Are there any other fish here that seem like they would be interesting in a fish pond? We could do all our eel in a fish pond. Craig would finally feel at home. Boop. There you go. <laughs> Why does that look so silly? Oh, there it is. All right, let's go build another fish pond. How much XP to the next fishing level? It is... Um, 26. 26 fishing experience. So one quest from Super Cucumbers will do us nicely. Which, it, it'll take a minute because the Super Cucumbers, they're slow to reproduce. Actually, maybe, you know what, it might be... I'm trying to think, because they are slow to reproduce, right? You're more concerned with overflowing the XP for level 2? I'm, I'm thinking now, like, what if our next goal was is like catch a fall fish and i'm worried that with this fish pond strategy it'll take us into winter instead instead and we might need to be in fall for some reason it's a good idea and i'm glad we have a fish pond on deck now but we do have the eels we do have the eels that might i was it was kind of a meme suggestion in the moment let me see eel what are the eels looking like? Eel would give me a quest. Let's see. They reproduce every three days. So we'd have to... We'd fill it up to three eels. Because we have three eels to fill. Um, then we'd have to wait three days after that to get their quest. Their quest could either be three driftwood, one frozen geode, or one to two seaweed. Those should all be pretty doable. Um, and then we just... And then we get 35 fishing XP. So we would overshoot our goal by a little bit, but not by enough to be of much concern, I don't think. That might be the way. That's still six days. I mean, we have three eels. We have, th we have two eels here, and we have Craig. Craig, I can't believe it. Literally the first fish, maybe like even the first thing we got out of a, a trash can ever... Craig, finally getting your time in the spotlight. Holy moly. <laughs> the Craig fish pond of our dreams. We need to put a new fish over there. Um, you know what? I'm gonna swap I'm gonna swap this out. We'll move we'll move this for right now. Blue discus, you can you can sleep over here with me as our first actually caught fish. We'll have this just as a as a little display case for you know what you can you can be you can be the Midnight Carp home. I like the Midnight Carp. 
Please select the number. No, I don't think I will. Some leg room for Craig and crew. All right, I need to... Well, number one, I need to get the super cucumber out of there. I don't just want to, like, reset the pond. Poor little super cucumber. Barely, <laughs> barely had any time to do anything here. Just got to swim around, or do, do super cucumbers even swim? I don't know. This pond is empty, dot, dot, dot. Empty the pond for real now. Load the Craigs in there. Well, Craig and his buddies. Craig and his chums. Nothing to complain about, baby. Wait, these eels are talking! Craig has gained sentience. Eel Pond. Eel Pond is also a great name for a band. I'll say that much. Alright. Leave the sign to the vessel right there. Eat Super Cucumber? No, I wanted to try putting it on the sign just to, just to see, you know. Alright, stow you away. Bamboo pole. We'll just we'll put it in there with the fish. That makes the most sense. Also move the training rod over there. Welcome on in, Allie. Good to see you. You're here just in time. We're getting ready to complete our 10th goal, if you can believe that. We got a fishing level on deck. Super Cucumber deserves to be in a tank. We got room in the tank, actually, now that I think about it. We have, like, one free spot. So, you know what, Super Cucumber? As, a, as my apology... Oh my god, he just sits at the bottom of the tank. <laughs> I forgot about that. He just kind of lies at the bottom. He just veges out. That's so good. All right. I think we're good to go. I guess we can get a second eel pond ready to go. Or not a second eel pond, but a second fish pond. Might as well head over to Robin and take care of that. Oop. Did I water my crops today? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> We probably didn't. I think I was so preoccupied with the fish pond that I that I have not gotten down there yet. Craig is no longer safe from accidentally being cooked? What do you mean? I would never cook Craig. He's safe with his brethren in the fish pond. He's waited eight long years and he's finally home. Justice for Craig has been served. Alright, construct a new fish pond, please. Bada-boom. So what are we saying? To the left of the sprinkler area? Like, right over here, you're saying. Sort of right in this in this vicinity? That seems reasonable. Or we could even do, like, right here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like this. This is, like, normally where, like, the trees spread into. We could definitely make use of this space. This is a good real estate. I like that. I like that right there. All I heard was Craig has been served. No! No! <laughs> Craig will never be a spicy eel, nor a fried eel, nothing of the sort. Craig, Craig is safe forever. Chat, if you ever catch me accidentally, like, somehow, for some reason, putting Craig inside of a fridge... You need to you need to stop me. You need to like signal the red alarm. It needs to be all hands on deck to save Craig, okay? You got to save him from from me who might just be like incompetent in the moment. All right. I think we're good there. Oh, I do need to go water the crops. I need to go water the crops. Uh we'll 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 leave Iota over there. She's worked hard. How we do down here as far as eggplant profits go. Retaining soil did not do too well this time, I'll tell you that. That's okay. Do we have any eggplants? Ooh, ten eggplants for me! It'll help against uh, the... Help to offset the costs of building the fish ponds. Although, I guess I look over here and I see 1.1 million dollars, and it's like, is 5,000 really that big of a deal? Hey, you know, 5,000 is 5,000. 
Were there gold and silver eggplants in there as well? I didn't. I was so laser focused on the stack of ten. There we go. Six hundred beautiful dollars. Just call me Eggplant Matrix. Don't call me that. All right. Um. Cherry wine on deck. Move that sign of the vessel as soon as the pond is ready. So this pond should be... It should give us a quest in a couple more days, right? Like two more days? Because it's it'll be three days including the day that we... Well, I guess if it's including the day that we put them in, then it'll be tomorrow, but... Oh, I need to go water. I'm silly. I'm just... I'm too in... I'm too excited to get my first level, is all I'm going to say. <laughs> so don't call me Eggplant Matrix. You know, it was a slip of the tongue. Chat, it's been a four-hour stream. I have to say some silly stuff sometimes to, to fill the air. You don't have to run with it, okay? You don't have to run with that. I, I say lots of crazy things that I don't mean, and some crazy things that I do mean. We got no eggplants in there. We do have some grapes that look vaguely like eggplants. Same color, at least. We're contractually obligated to run with it. We're all in the 5k race of running with it. I respect it. Where did Iota go? Chat, I lost Iota again. I literally don't see her, like, anywhere. She's so well hidden. Is she down here? Did I, did I leave her, like, way up here? Oh, maybe... I think Pi was blocking the way. Yeah, Pi was blocking the way. Okay. That makes sense. You meant in the chests by my house. Gold quality eggplants. I, I see only just regular eggplants, unless I'm mistaken. I believe I only have regular quality eggplants. We should still have a decent amount of hay. I think we're still good on the hay front. Because we did just refill the silo not that long ago, it was like a few days ago. We'll, we'll double check again towards the end of fall here for sure. But I think they're going to be fine at least till the end of the season. Alright. <gasps> we got row. We got eel row. 12 fishing XP? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Should I have picked that? I don't even know. I don't even care. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm a row farmer, baby. There we go. Craig's eggs. Yo, should we... I guess we can make aged row, right? Well, we'll, make, we'll leave it as regular row, because we never know when we're going to get, like, ship row. And then, uh, if we get ship age row, then we can age it then instead. But we're not guaranteed to get any more anytime soon, so we might as well just leave it for now. Craig's eggs, also known as Craig's. <laughs> Chat, you always come up with the best puns. Why can't I be that smart? I'm never good at thinking of things on the fly. You guys should be the streamers, not me. Any eggplants? More eggplants? Heck yeah. Another great band name. We're just flying with them today. Craig's Eggs? That's probably already a band name. You know what else should be a great band name? B underscore boss dot OGG and all they play is this song all day every day. Perfect time. Perfect time to ring in our new fish pond. Come on, come on. I know it, my, my fish pond is ready. My fish pond is ready to go. What am I going to put in this fish pond over here? If I could put a B in there, I, it would be too fitting, but I don't think we have any B fish. What should we put in that other fish pond over there? I guess probably the super cucumber. I mean, it's 
I know it's you're moving around a lot, you little super cucumber. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's not there yet. Discus or cucumber? I mean, I like the discus. I think we probably should put the discus in there now that I'm thinking about it, just so it's ready. Blue discus? It feels wrong to move you to move you away from. But you're, you're going to be so much better off in a fish pond, honestly. B ream. <laughs> you little blue discus. I never thought I'd hold so much... So much emotional weight. In a single little fish. In a single blue discus, of all things. I never thought I'd be so attached, but there you go. Alright. Perfect. Pick up a little seaweed. Pick up... There's also a... Uh, there's an oyster over here. Wheat flour. And I'm on my way. Fish needs some space first. Yeah, you know what? It, it was a pretty cramped little fish tank there. I'll give it that. Now the blue discus has space to roam and reproduce to its little heart's content. Third time's the charm for ponds at this point. We do have enough room for another fish pond, I would say. Whether we actually want to build one right now, I think I'm probably good. All right, we'll keep, we'll keep the oyster, though. Could be a potential fish pond candidate in the future, or I know I do remember it was a possibility for a super cucumber fish pond quest, so that's mainly the reason I'm keeping it honestly. All right. <laughs> Hootie and the puffer fish. Yo, we could put a puffer fish down in that pond. Finally complete Hootie and the blowfish. Hootie and the chicken and the blowfish. We could always ship extra blue discus too. Also true. We can always we can always fish out any fish and ship them to our heart's content now. We've entered the fish pond era. Speaking of quest time, baby. They want three driftwood? That's like the worst one. <laughs> that's the that's the most annoying one to get. Aw oh, man. I mean I can go fish it, but like <laughs> Then I'll be I'll be over my uh my limit really, right? Looks like we need to fish for trash anyway, apparently. Alright, I guess we're gonna go fish some trash. Fine. They twisted my arm after all this effort to do uh to to do the fishing level the right way with fish ponds. They're like, hey, go fish some trash anyway. Sucker. Does resetting the day change it? It it does not change it, unfortunately. I would have to like reset the pond and wait like another few days for the quest. I can go get some driftwood. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, resetting the day wouldn't uh, wouldn't affect this one, unfortunately. Do we have any? I guess we'll I will check. I don't think I saved any driftwood. I might as well just uh, I might as well check here. This looks like driftwood, but it's actually a master slingshot. Just a little driftwood in disguise. Pretty sure we didn't. Crab pots. Crab pots could be a good way to get some driftwood. You're not wrong with that. We do have a few crab pots waiting to be used. Master slingshot is as functional as driftwood? Hey. Once, I mean... You're right, but once you get explosive ammo, then things start to all fall into place. Yeah, we're trying to not leave fall, if at all possible. Wait, was there three in the fridge? Oh, three crab pots in the fridge, you're saying, not three driftwood. Yeah, you know, Master Slingshot has its advantages, but right now it's not what we're in the market for. We're in the market for a little bit of driftwood. Just a wee touch of driftwood. So obviously, the natural place I come when uh, fishing for driftwood 
is is this lava pool. <laughs> Where else would you find driftwood but in the lava, 100 floors beneath the surface of the earth? Alright. I mean, I don't want to... I'm not going to reset immediately, but I, I would like to not catch too much trash, right? Plop down 25 pots and grab only the driftwood tomorrow. Unfortunately, we're limited to three crab pots. For right now, because uh, we can't craft anymore, we can't buy anymore until we reach level 3 fishing, I'm pretty sure. So the three that we have back at home are the only three that we got. This is going to be our first fishing level right here. Whether we actually keep it or not remains to be seen. Level up and keep the momentum going. I want to get some driftwood out of this. I feel like we should reset and try and get at least a little bit of driftwood out of this level. I feel like that's the... I feel like it's the smart play here, honestly. Phantom level. We just got a phantom level. No one pay attention to that one. Doesn't count. I want to get at least a little bit of driftwood. And then, once we have this uh, driftwood ready to go, we will be able to finish that quest the next time we get a fishing level goal. Yeah, we need driftwood because the eels are asking for it at the at the fish pond here. They could have asked for a nice little frozen geode. I know where I can get plenty of frozen geodes, but no, they needed the frit. They needed the freaking driftwood. They asked me, what do you want for, uh, what do you want us to have a quest for? What do you want us to ask for? And I said, you know, it'd be really nice if you asked for a frozen geode. And they were like, uh. And I was like, okay, maybe you could ask for, uh, maybe you could ask for a little seaweed instead. That would work too. And they were like, uh. And then I sighed and I said, three driftwood? And then they said, if that's what you want, the option I knew they wanted to pick anyway. At this point, you say reset the eels and level up. But if I reset... Ooh, driftwood! I mean, now I got the momentum going. We only need two more driftwood. I do need to harvest their row again anyway for aged row. That's true. But here's the thing. Once we hit fishing level one, we're going to have a lot more leeway, at least, for, uh, for fishing experience. also get driftwood from trash runs? I don't think we do. I, th I don't think you get trash or driftwood out of uh, trash cans. I feel like it's... Maybe maybe you do and I'm just, you know, blocking it out of my memory because I always get rid of it. But I feel like it's the one that doesn't show up from trash cans. That is fishing level one. Do we take that? Do we lock that one in? A piece of wood from the sea? The sea? The sea, I see. Or do we go reset the fish pond for a better quest, or or do we lock this in? One piece of driftwood, is that enough? Is that enough? We need three driftwood because that is what our eel fish pond is currently asking for. Take it? Alright. We're too excited, we're gonna lock it in. We'll take the driftwood, I don't need the broken glasses, don't need the trash bag. One driftwood, and a dream. We are just barely over the fishing level goal. I think we're at 101 experience versus the 100 experience that we actually need. Cries and refined quartz from glasses. That's okay, I can just smelt quartz even better. I can smelt fire quartz, honestly. There we go. Put this away for a rainy, soggy, wooden day. Piece of wood from the sea. I'll show you a piece of wood. That sounded... <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Alright, um... You think you could nab us three driftwood on the sly? 
Ah, do you think you could drive us in three? We just need three driftwood on the sly, see? All right, too late. <laughs> what do you? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You know what? Context aside, context and euphemisms, innuendos, whatever, and all that aside, chat. Welcome to the world of level ups. Level one fishing plus one fishing rod proficiency. We did it. We leveled up one time. <laughs> Oh, baby! The first of many. The first of many. Lock that in. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't fe It feels so wrong looking over here and seeing this one little red knob. We're still a newcomer. Beatrix the newcomer? <laughs> she's done, done quite a lot to still be called a newcomer, but I guess she still hasn't met, like, mostly anybody. Well, I guess she's met most of the people at this point, at least in one passing glance or another. There we go. Now we can roll another fishing level. I mean, that's always a distinct possibility. Alright. Stream is getting a little long, but... I can't end it off here. I sh surely I can't end it off here when we have another goal to roll, can I? I don't, I don't think I could do that to you guys. Let's keep it going. I, I'm feeling the momentum. I'm feeling the rhythm of the night. Bring me on back here. Just get that all set up nicely. Perfect. All right. And here we go. Gain a fishing level, our first level, our first double digit goal. It is too fitting. We are officially 1.8% of the way to perfection, 10 goals deep, and it only took, you know, like 150-ish hours. <laughs> well, the world's our oyster again. What lies in store for us now? Find out next time. I'm just kidding. All right, generate goal in three, two, one. Send it. Catch a shad. This is a very fishy stream. This is a very fishy stream, chat. Alright, shad is what? It's a rainy day fish. It's currently raining. Hold on a minute. It's currently raining. It's a rainy day fish in the fall. Spring, summer, and fall only? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that? That's actually, like, insane. <laughs> That's actually kind of nutty. Hold on a second. The fact that that worked out like that? What the heck? Please, why so easy? It's it, They're taking it easy on us. Have we not been put, our, put through our paces enough up until this point? I feel, I feel like we've gone through the rigmarole. We need a few easy ones. We need a few easy ones. We must wait for 9 a.m. Is it a 9 a.m. Marty? Let's see. Shad, 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. in the river. Exclusively in the river. What is the pattern? It's 45 smooth. 45 smooth. OMG me. All right. Yeah, I mean, we can just go straight to the river and, and take care of business here. I will edit the... I will edit the goal command here. Gain a fishing level? No, no, no. We have gained that fishing level, and now we're about to go catch a shad in the pursuit of our next fishing level. I will also, I'm not going to make another, oops, I'm not going to make another one of these little, like, goals in the top left. We'll just, we'll just axe that for right now. I could go make one. I don't think I have one for catching a shad just yet, so I'll, I've been trying to make them. I've been trying to make them for, like, every goal, but I haven't gotten that far down the list quite yet. Paid some dues, deserved a break or two. I agree. We've, we've done our time as far as, uh... 
as far as goals go. This was a nice lucky break. It's it's already raining. We don't even have to wait for a rainy day. It's fall. Let's go take care of it. You just got to grab. It's it's 45 difficulty, so a training rod actually would work, I think, right? Cuz 45 it's fi it's for difficulty 50 fish and below. I think the training rod works. So uh that should be highly doable. Got some row there from Craig and friends. Otherwise, I think we just like uh, we just gotta wait till 9 a.m. here. Is trout soup worth it? With the training rod, no, because the training rod already puts us at a like level five fishing bar, and it'll make it so we can only catch basic quality fish as well, right? So it's like kind of perfect. It will catch a shad. All right, I think I think that this is an, a a perfect training rod scenario. Invoke Training Rod Protocol. I repeat, Invoke Training Rod Protocol. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is a shad. And this is a blue discus. We got the magma cap. We got the, uh... We got the midnight carp. We got the fishing level. We're, we're on our way. We're on our way with the goals right now. Clearing out some of this uh, gobbledygook right here. You don't need quite this many hardwood trees. Greedy to chop all that. You'll end up with your axe all dull. Hardwood is expanding nicely, but I don't want it to I don't want it to expand too wildly. I want to leave at least spaces in between the trees. Everything else I think we can we're safe to leave here. But having, like, spaces to navigate in between all the trees, I think, is important to me. Doesn't get much more basic than a shad. As far as, like, rainy day fish go, like, like that's the only thing that's really special about the shad, right? Is it's, it's just a rainy fish. Only comes out in the rain. So it can be caught in the river. That can be the forest river or the town river. So we can just, we should be able to fish fine, like, right here. Make the most of our nice, shiny, new level 1 fishing. I'm loving it. Iota, don't eat the dirt. Don't eat the dirt. You can eat the grass, like, over there. Just take a few steps over and eat the grass. But, like, the dirt? Nah. Alright, well, that's awkward. <laughs> A little green algae. All right. It's to be expected sometimes. We don't even need to reset trash necessarily anymore just because we have that. We do have a lot more leeway when it comes to experience, but green algae we do still need to reset because it's it's its own goal. Yeah, like a tiny bit of extra experience now as far as fishing goes is not the end of the world just because we have up until what is 280 experience now yeah we have 280 experience leeway in order to in order to work with here iota wasn't eating the dirt just playing with it okay that's cute then that's very cute Alright, we head down here, we trim our mahogany forest again. And then we run it back. I just want to leave full spaces around each tree. If it's more than one space away from another hardwood tree, I think it's it's safe in my mind, otherwise, you're getting the axe. I do so wish that uh, that the saplings would also give hardwood, but I understand why they don't. Every skill is indeed a separate goal. In fact, every level of every skill is a separate goal. We got 50 skill goals built into the randomizer, and we've only seen one of them so far. <laughs> I'll take this super meal. I'll, I'll take a little speed buff. Why not? We zoom in. 
Speed buff with Iota? Oh, baby! We could do laps. We could do laps around this debris. It's so funny that the speed buffs affect your horse. <laughs> Does it make sense? No. Is it awesome? Yes. And you know what? The rule of cool applies in this context, I would say. Alright. Get my bobber in the water. I, I, I was scared. I was scared that I was going to hook something at like 8.50 at the last possible second there, but alright, we're good now. Alright. So that's not what we're looking for, but it's not reset worthy exactly, I would say. I would say if we catch maybe like three pieces of trash, then that's probably reset worthy. But just one piece of trash, not the end of the world. Is this, would you classify this as a 45 difficulty smooth fish? I would not, personally. This doesn't feel, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel like a shad. It doesn't doesn't seem very smooth to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and say no on that one. That's a carp. I don't know if it was quite a carp, but it was definitely not the fish we're looking for. I felt more like a sinker than a than a smooth. This feels like the exact same fish. Chub maybe? That's probably a good guess, I would say. Son of a gun. <laughs> that's the one thing that can force a reset down here. That's that's the one and only thing. And they went and did it. It's alright. We run it back. There's there's no festival shenanigans we can invoke on this one. We just gotta wait till 9 a.m. no matter what. Can't wait for catch green algae in before that's the final goal of the entire randomizer. Maybe I shouldn't say that, maybe I shouldn't put that out in the universe, but it's a distinct possibility. That would be my Joker moment, if I wasn't allowed to catch green algae until literally the very end. If that, was, that would be so pathetic. Could you imagine the last thing you need to do for perfection is catch green algae? <laughs> that would be a very unique situation to be in, and I don't know whether I love it or hate it. That that's even a possibility. Exclamation point rules, if you're looking for rules. It used to be exclamation point FAQ, but it's now a uh, now exclamation point rules. What what to you guys would be the funniest final goal, do you think? Because there is gonna be a final goal eventually. So there's something that we're not going to be allowed to do until the very last moments. What would be the most hilarious option? I'm trying to think. There's so many possibilities. Ship wood. <laughs> One of those basic shipping goals that would definitely feel kind of right. Ship wood, ship stone. What if it's craft a chest? Yeah. <laughs> ship a parsnip? Oh my god. Ship a parsnip would actually be kind of poetic. It's like the first thing that most people do, or at least one of the first things that most people do. And to have that be the, the linchpin that seals perfection in would be kind of crazy. Cook sashimi? Adios, Craig. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a good run. <laughs> Befriend Haley or Krobus. Also, you know, very on brand. Very in fitting with the stream lore. I don't know. I don't know what I want to see as the final goal, to be honest with you. By the time we reach that point, no matter what it is, it shouldn't be too bad because we'll have op access to so many other options, but who knows? Who knows what the future has in store for this challenge? It might not feel like it, but we're still just at the very beginning of this challenge. As far as goals go, like look at how, how far we still have to go. We have a mountain to climb. Ship cactus fruit, cook hash browns. I'll tell you what it's not going to be. It's not going to be to catch this shad right here. 
That feels like a bullhead to me. Is a bullhead available here? I don't know what this is. This feels like a bullhead or a chub or something. Do you think this is it? Wick Wickety says there it is. Let's give it a try. That's a shad. There it is. You called it. All right. Shad, 18 experience. Didn't even catch any trash this time. That was a very clean catch right there. That was an extremely clean catch for the shad. We'll take it. Lock that one in, baby. Goal number 11 complete. Let's keep it running. Let's keep it running. I'm I'm riding high on this randomizer life right now. I'm having way too much fun with this. I'm having way, way too much fun. Uh, this is what the randomizer's all about. Finally, we get a taste of what, what I had in mind, rather than these insane grinds right off the bat. I wanted to save the insane grinds for, you know, like, partway through the challenge, but now we just flip the script a little bit. All right. Catch a shad? Easy peasy. Literally got it the exact same day we rolled this goal. Not even sweating it. We're getting a fish rainbow. Whoops, I accidentally changed my thing there. But there we go. <laughs> All right. Great song, too. Great song to get things to. All right, finish the goal. Is that 2%? That's 1.9%. You would. <laughs> Come on. 1.9. Can we get some 1.9 in chat, please? 1.9%. All right. I feel... Chat, I don't know what I'm... I don't know what to tell you. I feel a palpable sense of dread right now. I haven't felt that in a little bit since uh, since hitting this, this button here. I feel like we're due for something unexpected. But there's only one way to find out, right? Three, two, one. Sounds about right. That <laughs> sounds about right. Okay, uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. That one's gonna hurt. That's a tough, tough pill to swallow. <laughs> oh, no. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Ev everyone, slow your roll. Slow your roll here, okay? Let's, let's not get too carried away. Let's not get too carried away here. You son of a gun. You son of a gun. All right. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? This isn't so bad. This is not so bad. Maybe. <laughs> you cursed it with a rainbow fish. No, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm all down for the, I'm down for whatever fish they want to throw my way. You know what? This is totally fine. I'm not even afraid. More, I think it's more intimidating as a concept than it is going to be in reality. All right. Um, let me bring you over here. Welcome to Octopus Land. Okay. Location: Ocean Ginger Island Submarine at Night Market. We have access to Ginger Island. We can catch this just on Ginger Island. I believe for Ginger Island, fishing island south. I believe it's Island West, right? Island West in the ocean from 6 a.m. until noon, until 1 1 p.m. Highly doable. So it could we could wait until winter. We could do the island farmhouse. I think I think we should probably this is probably our cue to get the island farmhouse right here. We can go get our golden walnuts, get the island farmhouse built, and then we can do easy resets for the octopus. That seems like the like the smart play to me. Bring it back here. Yeah, and it is right in the morning, which is very nice. We don't have to wait any time at all. We can literally step outside and just go get it. Go get it. Um, 34 fishing experience for a base quality one. I don't know if we're gonna get a base quality one, probably, but uh it's no there's no level requirement. Obviously catching an octopus at level one fishing. <laughs> is kind of a nightmare. A nightmare wrapped inside of a of an enigma wrapped inside of a golden walnut. 
of sadness. But this is what our emergency seafoam puddings are for. We have we we have to use a seafoam pudding on this thing. I don't think no matter how long I I tried and bang my head against this wall, I don't think there's any way in hell I'm catching an octopus with level one fishing and like no buffs or even with like a trout soup. Even with the seafoam pudding, I don't think it's going to be an easy catch. <laughs> like, 95 sinker? I mean, we all know how the octopus goes. We all know how the octopus goes. But, we can do it. We can do it. This is the ultimate test of skill as far as fishing goes in Stardew. I don't think it's going to get harder than this. <laughs> Can we even collect golden walnuts right now? We are allowed to collect golden walnuts as long as we don't get enough to enter the walnut room. Or, comp or like, collect all the golden walnuts. It's one of those things where you can make progress on it, like the museum, but you can't, uh, can't reach a certain milestone. Because those, are, those ones are our goals. You even catch it at level 10 with cheese seasoned seafoam pudding. It's, uh, it's one of those, yeah. <laughs> It's one of those, even at level 10, even with fishing buffs, it can be, it can get away from you. I've had it happen for sure. It's, uh, it's not going to be easy. I feel like we're in for the ride of our lives with this one. Fishing is not going to get any harder than this, I don't think. Well, I don't want to say that because technically, technically, once we hit fishing level 2... It could give us catch a glacier fish because the glacier fish requires level six fishing. But if you have seafoam pudding, you can get to level six at level two fishing. So, <laughs> you know, knock on wood with that one. But uh, this is the, in all likelihood, it's not going to get any harder than this. Can we get a better fishing pool? Not until level two. All right. Well, I think um, I think on that note, because we have a lot, a lot to do. Well, not like a lot, a lot to do, but we have enough to do that I'm willing to to end it here. I think I think this is a good spot as any to uh, to end things off. So let me bring you back into the valley for a second. Bring you back to Fractured Farm here, and this will be something to look forward to next time. <laughs> On uh, on Friday when we have our next stream, so we'll go ahead. Let's go ahead and just lock in the shad here. Nice little look at our fishing collection. Ooh, we got a little zigzag going on here. Where's the octopus gonna fit in here? It is right over there. That's gonna be you know it's gonna be a nice like Wicked you said a nice little rainbow of fish. Once we get that guy. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the house. We're gonna we're gonna save this day, and then. Next stream, we are going to go ahead and start whatever preparations we need to do for this octopus. I think it should only be getting the island farmhouse, and from there, it's just literally, like, get good. <laughs> I don't think there's much more I can do. Bring a, bring a seafoam pudding to the island farmhouse and pray. <laughs> we can't use tackle. We can't use a better fishing rod. We can't even use bait to, like, make things more palatable here. It's literally, that's all we got. All we got is our own two hands, a bamboo pole, some pudding, and a dream. Cinder shard nodes do give mining experience, yeah. I think if you go to like the mining page, like the mining skill page on the wiki, you'll probably see it on there. As far as I know, the only way to get cinder shards without uh, gaining any experience is to get them from chests in the volcano dungeon. All right, shad. I mean, you're not the most illustrious fish of all time, but there is a space. There's a space open for you. <laughs> Enjoy. Little little did I know that Craig would be replaced by just a random shad. I mean, not a random shad. It's the shad that we caught. It's our shad, but a shad nevertheless. You don't think you'd want to eat seafoam pudding? Sounds gross. I'm honestly with you on that one. I mean, it, it looks very delicious. It Like, it looks good. Like, I think, like, just based on looks alone, I'd be like, ooh, that was, like, a nice little dessert. But knowing what it's made of is uh, it's definitely going to put me off of that one.
Chad the Shad. Chad the Shad. The ultimate Chad fish. Chad the Shad. There he is. He's arrived. Set it in stone. It's perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, I digress. This was a very productive stream. I'm glad we got past the hash brown grind. I definitely did not want to make it through another four plus hours of just searching for hash browns, and then we've uh, we've expanded quite dramatically from there. We've farmed eggplants, we've shipped bones, we've caught many a fish, and we had we even had a little volcano adventure. What a great great day! But that octopus is gonna have to wait until next time. So uh, <laughs> I appreciate you all being along here for the ride. Tune in on Friday, unless you're tuning into Wickedy Stream, which I would not begrudge you for, because she's doing an amazing challenge on her own channel. So, uh, so I mean, pick one to watch live, and then watch the VOD at the other one, is all I can tell you. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Thank you all so much for joining me on this uh, leg of the randomizer. I will see you then. Same time, same place. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. Send you off with the fan art compilation. As per usual. And until then, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a great night, everybody. Bye bye.